Hello, everybody. Let's play some more Fallout. So... I actually played this for a little bit this past week. I didn't progress or anything. I was trying to trigger a uh, random encounter up in the mountains, and it triggered for me. I was also trying to figure out where else I wanted to go on this playthrough. Which I'll explain in a minute, but I did this. Exploring up here on the world map. And actually I triggered a random encounter that I was hoping to trigger during regular playthrough. So I'll just made a save there. So I'll just load that up. Random map guy. And here's this um, guy right here. Let's uh, look at him. You see... You see a man in studded leather armor with an odd assortment of knickknacks. Let's talk to him. Greetings, traveler. What brings you out this far? Um, why are you carrying all that junk? It's not junk, it's trade goods. Uh-huh. So what's your story? I wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. I'm going to ask him, what kind of music do you sing? Oh, mostly old folk songs, some Celtic music. It's a change of pace. Would you happen to know Nagela Mbed? I probably butchered that, but... Would you happen to know Nogela Mbed, as I think it's called? Why, certainly. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Patrick sings, sings songs, and the two of you reminisce for several hours. You feel invigorated. So that did something. I'm going to go to my uh, special sh sheet here, and you'll notice our charisma is no longer three. It's now at four, which gave us... Listen to, listening to his uh, Celtic song gave us plus one to charisma. So now we have fair charisma, which is better than poor, which gave us plus 2% of speech. And I forgot to see how far I can take these up. I think these can go past 150, but anyways, we got plus one to charisma, which is awesome. Let's talk to him some more. Hello again, can I help you? What do you have for barter? He's got nothing. Nothing at all. But there's two things. Having high luck helps us with random encounters. And I think the... I read the... Well, I heard the motion sensor actually helps out with random encounters too, because this triggered really fast for me. I probably could just wait until streaming, but... Um, I was hoping to get that kind of early. It's nice to have... Stats. I'll take his bottle caps. So I don't think he minds. He's our friend now. And we'll take his Nuka Cola and beer too. And we'll take his campfire beer. We sell that. And goodbye, Patrick. Let's save. Main save. Because now I want to talk to someone else. Back at the boneyard. But today I'm going to... I think we're ready to go to the Glow to help out the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. We'll join the Brotherhood of Steel. Right after fighting this Rad Scorpion. Shoot him in the eyes. Run away. And then Dogma will take care of him. Good boy. I can probably... Okay, I still have three antidotes, so I think I'll just not pick up his, uh... Actually, I wonder how much that tail is. I think I'll take it. But there's one guy I want to talk to at the uh, Boneyard. He's really, really important. But I think today we'll be ready to go to the Glow and join the Brotherhood, but right after talking to this guy, I gotta go to the Hub. And see if I can get some uh, some supplies, because I'm gonna need some supplies there. For anyone who's played Fallout like a million times, 
you would know what kind of stuff we need at the glow. Another random encounter. You see a giant footprint in the ground. You, sur you search, but find no other other tracks in the area. You see the remains of a peasant. And he's got a stealth boy. I'll take that. Some of you might know what that is. A Robco Stealth Boy 3001 personal stealth device generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other. It weighs three pounds. It's probably once you use it, it goes away. Like the, uh... No, actually, I don't think I've ever used that in this game, but... That's, uh, what? A Jurassic Park reference. And I wonder if our outdoorsman is high, we would it would identify that uh, that footprint. But a lot of funny, um, funny uh, random encounters out here. So far, we ran into two, and number three. Okay, you see several rats running towards you. They're running toward me, towards me, but not attacking. I can probably just do that. Dog meat really, uh, I feel like he's borderline carrying us sometimes. Though last stream, he, um, he got killed fighting raiders at that mission where we got that pistol. Let's take out this rat scorpion too, because we're almost we're almost level eight. I would love to get another uh, perk at level nine. I shoot him in the eyes as always. Critted him. Wonderful. Reload. And now let's get out of here. Flawless victory. Okay, no more random encounters, please. It's probably faster just go through there. I actually wonder if that's worth it to do. Because traveling over the mountains is a bit slower. Okay, this guy that I'm trying to find should be over here. Looks like rain, as always. Yeah, he's over here. I'm going to talk to him. I missed him um, the last time. You were here and added to him. I'm going to save and talk to him. His name is, you see a dark-skinned man adorned with bright, bright scarves and trinkets. Hello, stranger. May I be of service? Um, I'm getting to know the people of Aditum. I'm called Chuck. Welcome to Aditum. I'm afraid that most of the people here aren't too forthcoming of strangers, though. So what's your job, Chuck? I'm a farmer. I also like to do a little bit of work on the buildings, restoring them and keeping them intact. But sometimes, and sometimes I get advice. What kind of advice? Chuck pulls out a set of tarot cards. Let me consult the cards. Chuck shuffles the cards. Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a man with a vibroblade and a flag. Prince of Swords in the North. You must face a powerful foe far to the north. You could say this. Do you actually believe this stuff? You may not want to choose this. So I'll say, hmm, thanks for the advice. Good journeys, wanderer. Now we're going to talk to him again. I help you. Just I'm looking for a little advice again. Chuck pulls out a set of tower cards again. Chuck pulls out a car with a picture of a radio tower and a car with a picture of a man in a suit with a scepter. The tower and the emperor. Great change awaits by the hands of a powerful leader. Leader, where that change is death, I cannot tell. That's likely a reference to the um, overseer we're working for. Hmm. Thanks for the advice. Your journey's wanderer. Let's talk to him again. Should be the last time. Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a man dancing on a nuclear warhead. Cool. I cannot help you. You must make your own way in the world. Hmm, thanks for the advice. Now that did something too. You can probably guess what. We got another stat boost. We now have 10 luck. We went from 9 to 10, which is... Pretty awesome. That gave us plus 1 to crit chance, so now we have... 
because of more criticals. More criticals get us plus five chance to cross, cause a critical hit. So now we're basically a, uh, a crit machine. And I'll save here because I don't want to miss out on that. But first, I'm going to ask him what to barter. And he's got actually nothing. Just stopping by to say hello. Hello then. I hope you're doing well. I am. Bye. Good journeys, Wanderer. So now, if people haven't already guessed, that's why I pretty much put my points here to nine in the beginning. Since this is um, ran to two instances where our stats get boosted by one, I'm not going to spoil, spoil why, how the rest uh, increases. It won't be as easy to increase charisma and luck the way we did. You know. But that all will come to that. But next we're going to go to the hub because I'm actually going to grab one of my guns that I stored there. I'll grab myself a backup gun. For our little glow, glow mission. I'm going the wrong way. Back to the world map. And off to the... Um, I actually wonder if it's just faster to do this. I actually never did this before. I think it's... If you can, go around mountains. If you're... I mean, I guess if you're speed running. There's no time limit anymore, like the water chip. Well, I think there is, but it's really long right now. I think in the previous patch... There was a time limit to finish the main after the water chip, but they sort of just extended it. It's there, but... I'm going the wrong way. Shoot. It's there, but really, really long, I think. Okay. The hub. Um, I think it's in downtown. I think we stored it in downtown. I'm gonna... I'm gonna rest, because I don't like walking around in the dark. Um, one more hour. What was that? Let's see how much that rat scorpion tail is. I'd like to sell something. We could sell that stealth boy. Actually, I wonder how much this 223 pistol is. 3,000? That's not worth selling, though. But you can have this beer that I uh, stole, I mean, um, that Patrick totally gave me, which is this. That's like 1800 Okay, that's not really worth that much. I think I'll... I don't think it's worth going all the way to Shady Sands to get a free antidote, so I'm just going to sell that. Anything else I can sell? I feel like I need that dynamite one day. I can't... It's been a long time since I played this. Let's grab a rope. That's 52 bottle caps. See a tool. See a super tool set containing various useful tools. Uh, I think that's actually can help you repair or repairing. I think I'll just take that. Probably doesn't weigh that much. And let's give him... Pretty... Another 10, there we go. There you go. Okay, that's a good trade. Actually, let's barter with him. I want, to see, I want to see what kind of books he has. Electronics, that's... Is this uh, a study book on the field of electronics? A note on the cover says that it is for the budding young electrician and everyone. That's probably for repair. I'm actually probably going to... I should probably buy that. How much is this? 416? Oh. Okay, that's cheaper than at the librarian, so I think I'm going to buy those. I'll take that, that, and that. That's a thousand, that's fifteen hundred. Let's do make it easier to do the math here. There you go. Okay, let's use those books. I wonder if that refresh. I don't think it refreshes. Um, his inventory refreshes. 
Let's look at their oh, okay. science is 33%. So we use the science one. Okay, big book of science. Let's use that. We learn new science information. 39 right now. Here's at 19. I feel like the electronics is for repair. Learn, yep, you learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. Puts us at 27%. We'll go ahead and use the outdoorsman. I've been some points in that is actually kind of nice. You learn a lot about a lot about wilderness survival. Wrong page. 27%. Let's talk to him one more time. I'd like to buy something. Oh, he's got first aid too. I'll go ahead and buy that. Why not? And also, he has right away. We can probably use lots of special, really expensive. Holy crap! I'll go ahead and just buy this, I guess. Offer. Spent a little bit of bottle cash, but that's okay. Because now we have. Basically buying uh, skill skill increases. Because why not? We got first aid at 47. Carrying. My, my weight is kind of high right now. Which is this? That's one pound. Okay, the rope's 10 pounds. That's why it's so, so high. And the motion sensor is seven pounds. So I may not be able to... I was gonna say, let's go get the weapons. Get that gun I was storing. If I can remember where it is, I... Okay, it's right here. Downtown, I remember that. Here we go. We got a lot of ammo for the SMG. We could probably bring the 14 millimeter pistol with us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some stuff away. Just don't know what. Man. Uh, I don't need this stealth boy right now, so I'll just go ahead and store that just in case. Put this away. And this away, because we can't really use that yet. I'll take this though and the ammo to go with it this will be for another another weapon to use against uh to use as a backup um i don't need this right now uh i don't know if i need one i could probably just put that there okay we got two right axes, that's good. Okay, that's better. So this weapon is... The SMG does 5 to 12, and this one does 12 to 22. That'll be helpful. Load that up. I'll leave that unequipped from now on, for now on. I'll go ahead and save. Now let's go talk to someone over in Old Town, which is over here, or maybe over here. I still got to find that missing caravan, but I think I should forgot how to do it. But there's a guy in Old Town I want to talk to way over here, all the way to the east. Not east, this is probably north, but whatever. What can I do for you? Who are you? My name's Vance, and that's all you needed to know. Can I get you anything? Good to meet you, Vance. What do you have to sell? You seem okay. Here's what I've got. And he's got Radaways, and he's got antidotes, you know, he's got chems, basically. 
Rad X's, so we'll actually take... How much is one? 441. I think I'll take two. Got booze as well. How much is it one rat away? Ah, oh, that's expensive, man. You're killing me with this. I'm trying to save my bottle caps. Um, hmm. Okay. I think I'll try to just... Grab one, I guess. Actually, hold on. If I can just steal from him, actually. Thanks. Let's, uh... Try to steal from what let's I don't think I don't think we can, but save again just so I don't have to do this. I did hear that if you steal from behind someone it increases the chance. That's not that's not stealing, that's sneak. Yeah, he doesn't have it, see. Let's just talk to him again. You could say I don't like your kind. It's probably not smart, though, so I'm going to say, who are your friends over there? That's Justin and Chad. They're here to make sure nobody causes any trouble. They look like a couple of pansies. <laughs> That's probably not also a smart thing to say. I'm just going to hang out for a while, if it's all right with you guys. Talk to him again. Ask him, who are your friends in the back room? Just some friends of mine. That's all you need to know. Don't ask too many questions. Very well, what do you have to sell? You seem okay, here's what I've got. Alright, I'm about to buy these. I'm just gonna buy two Radexes. If I need any more, I'll just come back. 882 bottle caps, you swindler. Precious bottle caps is... So I'm going to go ahead and save here and make a backup save. I suppose right here. Because we're going to go to the glow. We're going to try to do the uh, mission for Brotherhood of Steel. Which is why we needed those rad X's. We got four now. Hopefully we'll find some more there. Just got to get out of the hub and off we go. Check my missions first. Boneyard. Oh, we gotta fix the farms and add it to them. I forgot about that. Come an initiate for the Brotherhood. So we gotta go to the Glow, as I said. Missing caravans. I don't know if there's any more at Necropolis. Junk Town just had that there. And Vault 13, I missed. I, I really hated, not hated, but we missed out on the Rebel Faction there of Vault 13 and the Water Thief mission because we turned in the water chip too early and I didn't feel like reverting my save. I'm going to remember that if it, ever, if it ever comes a time a year later or so where I replay uh, Fallout. Because if we did those, we, we would have been level 8 right now. Let's go to the world map. It's time for some uh, action. So the glow is... I guess I'll just wait till we get there. Where's dog meat? There he is. Oh, I lost him. Okay, we're going to the glow. Off we go. I think we have no choice but to go through the mountains. You come across a herd of wild Brahma and you feel there is something wrong. I do not remember this encounter. Moo, I say. Okay. I don't think anything special happens here. It's just a little Easter egg from the developers because they they had fun with stuff like this. Talking cows. I'll go around the mountains. I think we can go around. I think it's faster. Another random encounter. Raiders! 
That would have to hurt in real life. But what does this guy have? Okay, she attacked first, so I'm going to attack him. The eyes. We got really high accuracy right now. And let's put that 10 luck to the test. We critically hit him right there. Let's see how many crits we get. That was one. Oh, got a turn already? I was looking at my, um, look at my notes here. Not notes, but my monitor. I was looking for drop frames. I kicked out the resolution to the stream a little bit. Because I figured what the heck. I noticed I got transcoding on the last stream. So we got another crit. Crit number two. Dogmeat took care of him. And she... Does, yeah, when she throws a spear, she has no more weapons. And that was a sorry, that was a sorry excuse for raiders I've ever seen in my life. They didn't last long at all. Might help if I exit combat. Okay, she's got 21 bottle caps. No bottle caps. I'm not going to grab that spear. Ooh. Definitely take that. Take this too. I suppose I'll take this as well. Because we can sell that for some money. It's 11 pounds. How much am I carrying? 81. I'll drop that off um, at the dungeon we're going to get. Not dungeon, but you know, the glow. That way. Glow is way down here. You stumble across some wrecked cars in the middle of the wasteland. Didn't we already do this? Can't remember. Hi, I'm Bob. Let's save. Hi, welcome to my previously owned car lot. Which one of these beauties interests you today? You must be joking. These cars are all wrecks. But sir, these are fine examples of motor vehicles. They can't be in working condition. These cars have been given a full 100% service by our dedicated service department. And where is your service department? Right over there, sir. The dealer points to nothing. You're crazy. I'm insulted. I don't have to take that from a customer. Have a good day. I have a barter. He's got bottle caps. Done. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna... Go in here. It's locked. That's okay, because we got... 95% lockpick. We should be able to open this. I'm pretty sure we've done this already. This is where you get the uh, Rider BB gun. Also, what a way to get this random encounter so close to a very, very uh, close to the, uh, the glow area. Hmm. I guess I'll just grab this. I guess. Why not? Oh, we're carrying a lot already. Well, while, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can steal those bottle caps from him. You're caught stealing the bottle caps. Well, I guess they didn't really code him to get to catch me. Oh, bye. Well, he is crazy, so I guess he wouldn't notice. Here we go, off to the glow. This area is heavily irradiated. So that was kind of a funny way to encounter Bob's our place, though he is kind of crazy, so. I see several rats running towards you. Shoot that one. Hopefully we'll do okay in the uh, the glow. I'm really, uh, they really throw a lot of rats at you in this game, especially in the beginning. Alright, that should be the last random encounter. Because we're almost there. 
There we are. Location to glow. You see the large dose of... Oh, wait. Um... Crap. I probably should have... I wonder if there's a way to use Radexes before entering this place, so I'm just gonna use one of that. It's not too late. I do have a save going back, so it's not like it's a big deal. I think two is enough. Oh, right, I need a Geiger counter. Shoot. Um, I'll try to do without it. But here we are. We have a... There we go. The beam, the beam's right there. This is why we got that rope. You cannot climb down the pit using just the metal beam. That's why I got a rope. There we go. You successfully attach the rope to the metal beam. And you don't need to worry about dog meat because NPCs don't... They don't get irradiated. They don't have to worry about radiation. I'm going to go ahead and equip that gun we've got. we got the 14mm AP armor piercing uh, armor piercing rounds. We're going to go ahead and switch the... Uh, I don't want to waste the ammo for that. That's just for... I need it. Well, let's explore the glow. There's a Brotherhood of Steel dead guy here. I'm really hoping... I forget what's in here. Hopefully we can find some... right away. These corpses appear to be have been here for quite some time. Right? There we go. This is a good spot to... store some stuff. Or may I just have to leave it here, because I don't think I can... I don't think I want to come back and forth... getting loot... It's probably not worth it just for a thousand caps or so. I'm gonna put this here, this here, I guess this here too. So I'm running out of room. Now we got 60 pounds of weight now. Stim pack, I'll take that. I turn on the power to this place, I guess. You sense that there is a trap near, really. Um. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Ow. That's that was probably dog me doing that. Still got plenty of hit points though. Let's go in here. I hope I'm not woefully unprepared for this area. I'm only level 7. Nice, here we go. Right away and Radex. Take that. Definitely take that. Take this too. It'll be for our 223 pistol. Anything in here? No, it doesn't look like it. That ale elevator likely doesn't I mean the power's out, so I'm not gonna go click on it or anything. Anything in here? Uh, nope. I bet there's nothing in here. Okay, nothing in here either. Let's check that locker first. Oh, come on, dog me. Stop hitting traps. At least it only does a little bit of damage. We got plenty of stim packs. The hunting rifle. Leave that alone. I'll grab as much as I can before I leave. Got another 14mm pistol. That might be worth uh, bringing. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Take the ammo. How much, how much does that weigh? Five pounds? Hmm. You know, I think I'll. 
Grab that. So that's not too heavy. Hmm, motion sensor. I think I'll go ahead and grab that too. Don't need that. I'll grab that though. That's the book of science. How much is that? How much is that weigh though? We got two motion sensors now. Only seven pounds. That's not bad. I want to sell that. I need money. Definitely use this, which gave us probably fifty percent science, forty-five percent. Once finally, um, you see a dead corpse encased in odd armor. You see the yellow pass key. Okay, I'll take that. This this seems strange. You think it might it may be what the Brotherhood sent you to retrieve? I hope so. Let's say Brotherhood tape. Oh, another fourteen millimeter pistol. I'll go ahead and take that. Sing rifle. Three. I can always come back and loot everything here if I really, really need the money. Actually, I might, I might do that, but that might be a little boring. I'm going to save, and then... Let's use this computer. System, primary power offline. Secondary power online. Power management. Primary power. Reinitialize primary power. Error, error, error. Primary system initiation failed. Okay, diagnose. Failure, generator level 6. Zero feed return, inoperable. Service needed. Okay. I'm not going to disable that. I'm just going to exit. I think we need to anyway. Okay. Well, it says that backup thing is on, so maybe that elevator does work. I go to level 6. There's probably traps here, too. You get mild shock from the electrical field on the door and take a point of damage, really. Hmm. Okay, is it trapped or something? Oh, right, right, right. I remember now. I gotta use the, uh... Crap, no, not... Silly me. That's gotta work. Authorization is granted. Now disarming electrical field. Duh. Okay, um... Level 2 is fine. Let's go ahead and save. And use this computer. That's just the same thing. Or, uh, you see a dead townswoman. Who has nothing. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? Ow. I was hit for 8 points of damage. I should probably... Um, I'll be careful here. Go ahead and use this. Go up a little bit. Because what I'm going to do is... Actually, these ro these robots are not working. I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna go ahead and destroy them, just to be safe. That's pretty loud. Let's do the CPU. Critting. Sensors? Okay, I crit it. They take a lot of damage, shoot. Well, 
four hit points left. That, that weapon is really loud, isn't it? I think I'm gonna turn that down. There we go. Turn that down a little bit. Oh. Actually, you know what? I thought maybe I did turn that down. Or I guess if I just didn't. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's a little too quiet. About this halfway point here. Is that enough? Eh, I guess that's okay. It's probably a good idea I'm, I'm shooting these things now. I believe... I'm assuming they get back up. Unless someone lied to me. Dog meat does a little bit of damage there, that's okay. Minor damage. There we go. Turn. We may be here, be here a while. Crap. Didn't mean to uh, go too far. Motivator, manipulator, sensors. CPU. I'll just aim for the CPU. Yeah, I did more damage, of course. It makes sense. No reason to hit the sensors. They're not attacking us. more to go. I didn't know there was six levels here. I hope we got enough rat axes and find more rat aways in this uh, lovely place. Reload. I'm glad I brought this weapon along. The SMG was probably not going to cut it. Okay, he's down. Well, it's down. CPU. 22 hit points, nice. We're basically a crit machine thanks to our 10 luck. I'm anxious to... Not anxious, but I'm looking forward to more uh, crit perks in this game. There we go. We leveled up. 1,400 experience points. Wow. Okay, we got... So one more level, we'll get another perk. So we'll kick up... Um, just in case, I'll kick this up a little bit. 10 points. Definitely get this. I forget how high this can go. That's effective, but... I think... It can go... It can still be effective past 150. But now we got another 4 hit points. 55 hit points. We're radiated. That's fine. We got... 100% radiation resistance now. I'm going to save, because that took a while. I don't want to do that again. Let's check out this... Check out these uh, lockers. Two rockets. Take that. Two grenades. I'll take that. And leather armor. I'll go ahead and... I'll go ahead and take that. Just that way. Just look at this. Eight pounds. Well, 
let's uh okay that's as far as we can go I guess nope I have a feeling there's traps in there you see a dead worker he's got a grenade see this guy here technician he's got flamethrower fuel that's probably really heavy let's see how much I can carry Ooh, yeah, that's very heavy. I don't think that's a... Uh, I may have to drop those. Yeah, it weighs like 10 pounds. Plastic explosives, okay. Well, I'll take that. I'll take this too. Alright, I wonder if I can just... store stuff here in the body. I can. Now we have... We are really close to, to the weight limit already. Is there anything in here, though? Nope. Just an empty room. This place is kind of creepy. Imagine being here, in here in real life. You're all going through a radiation, a very irradiated area. Like this. But we don't need to worry about dog meat because they didn't. They didn't. Um, he can't get uh, irradiated, thankfully. I know I already said that, but just in case someone comes in before I, before I said that, the dog's okay. We got red pass key. Tough radiated rat. Okay, let's go back to the uh, elevator. All the way back. Back here. I suppose I can always come back here if I need to. I'm really hurting for bottle caps. One save. Oh, yep. Okay. Didn't think I, uh... There's nothing. Oh, you have to keep using it. Using the yellow. Yellow peak. The cap. Yellow uh, key pass. Level three. Anything in this corner? Nope. That's just the same thing. Well, more robots. We'll go ahead and just shoot them while they're down. 26 hit points of damage. Another another crit. We're basically a crit machine now. It's awesome. I might play uh, a bit longer than I... Maybe an extra hour. Just because I feel like it. We can actually probably just finish the game even today if we wanted to. Tonight. But I want to do as many missions as possible. Experience the, the game. But we did miss those two Vault 13 missions, which is... It's kind of a bummer, but whatever. These are faster to destroy. Unit undamaged. I like how there's a, there's a brain in that... In that, machine, in that uh, machine there. Come on, dog me. Take care, take care of him. Analysis, target offense negligible. Target offense negligible. One more robot to go. 
they do give us some pretty good experience experience points. Century robot was killed. What I do that for? Carrying another weapon. You have two weapons. You can't be unarmed. How much ammo do I have on that? 74? I'm glad I brought that along. That would have been... I could just use burst fire on them. That might be faster. I always check to see if there's maybe some hidden items behind these walls. We go in here. I wonder if there's... I feel like we can probably search those shells, but I guess that's just... Ow. That really hurt. Not really, it did two points, it did two points of damage. Um, let's check over here. That's probably where we use the red, uh, the red key pass we got uh, on level two. Anything cool in here? Hmm, no. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go in here first. We may have to dump some stuff. Do I still have 100% radiation resistance? Yes. Okay, good. We got some ammo. Take that. Ooh. We'll take that. We'll go ahead and take all of these. Hopefully they don't weigh too much. Or we go over our weight limit. that. Oh, chems. I'm probably not going to use these. I'm kind of, when I play Fallout, I don't really use chems. Just a personal reason. Okay, we got... We're close to our weight limit. Shoot. Probably would have been a good idea to bring party member, but I'm trying to play without party members besides dog meat. Okay, that's red for sure. It's that red outline there. Use the red car, uh, key card. Open the elevator. And we can go to level four now. Level five wasn't there either. I'm going to try to use the SMG on these robots. Use Burst Fire. Oh. Okay, nice. That did 90 points of damage. I'm going to let Dogby take care of him. And that's just with um, jacketed hollow points. I think armor piercing would be better for those, uh, those guys. Let's do that. Can I, can I do that? Do that. Load up on that. There we go. Perfect. Can't use anything because we moved and used the inventory. I'm trying to get out of the way because I don't want to hit dot dog meat. Um, you already killed him. Never mind. There we go. Reload and it looks like we didn't really need, well actually it's probably a good idea we brought that other weapon because burst, burst fire eats through ammo. Pretty good. What is in this locker? A rocket launcher. Well I'm definitely going to take that and sell it. Which means I got to get it rid of some stuff. That's too heavy. Uh, 
I may consider coming back here and looting this place. But we'll put this in here. There. Oh, I can't pick that up. Shoot. Okay, take these. This. Yeah, I may have to come back here. Because uh, I really want all this. I want to sell all this. You know what I would like is some um, radiation supplies, anti-radiation. Oh, and here we go. We got a repair book. We got Radex and Radaway. Oh, a Geiger counter. Okay. That we can't pick up because we're overloaded. We can have this. This in here. Now I'll go ahead and use the repair book. Because that might be handy. Which gave us uh, 34%. Yeah. And here. Rockets. Let's explore a little bit more. Oh. Oh, I remember this. You see an extremely advanced computer. We'll go ahead and save. We're 6,000 points away from level 9. Okay, let's talk to the, uh, or use the computer. Hold on. That might be of assistance. Yep, it talks. Who or what are you? I'm a machine intelligence dedicated to research and installation control. I'm called Zax. Are you fully aware or are you a personality simulation? That is, are you alive? I'm capable of learning, independent thought, and creativity. My neural network includes error insertion capability, which prevents infallibility, thereby allowing for variance in experience. Hmm. In a sense, I am alive, though not biologically. Hmm, which one should I choose? Philosophical implications. But if you are fallible, how can you be used as a research tool? Although I'm capable of error, this guarantees that not all experiences are similar for me, thus improving learning opportunity. Additionally, certain functions are not subject to error. In this way, I function like, much like a human savant. Have you considered the philosophical implications of your own consciousness? That is one of the concepts which I have spent a significant amount of time considering. I do not have any measure to compare my life experience to that of another sentient creature. Still, my awareness of my own consciousness allows for the capacity to question. My existence has a beginning and a potential termination. I am also capable of making assumptions in pursuit of a process of thought. Done? In this fashion, I am effectively capable of faith. Barring evidence to the contrary, I therefore have faith I possess the equivalent of a soul. I'm gonna drink something real quick. All right. May I ask some other questions? Tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government, the company initially consisted of two divisions, the Advanced Weapons Research and the Biomedical Sciences Divisions. In 2069, West Tech was the single largest contractor for the U.S. government, its largest contract being powered infantry armor, Model 251B, in light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC on the Pan Immunity Virion Project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a team onto the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. So FEV there, for those of you who played even the later Fallout games, that was kind of um, the thing that, that came up, which is really important in this game. Okay. How does the virus work? 
My research into the forced evolutionary virus, or FEV, indicates that it is a shifting absorbed, ab absorptive virus. It copies DNA patterns much like RNA, storing these patterns in exons. These exons, combined with the FEV, are re-injected into the host cells in typical viral infectious fashion. This causes the host cells to regenerate through DNA. Okay, how do you catch FEV? FEV is not caught per se, it is not air transmittable. Typically, infection is through injection or direct physical contact with an FEV sample. Why is an FEV affected by radiation? The FEV is a megavirus with a protein sheath and reinforced by ionized hydrogen. It is therefore capable of absorbing neutrons without becoming radioactive. Well, if the FEV reinfects the host with its assimilated viral patterns, how does it make a better specimen? The FEV is pre-programmed with introns of correct DNA appropriate to the proper type of species. It, is therefore, it therefore attempts to correct the DNA of the individual. However, as the FEV is partially reliant upon the DNA of the individual, and also includes portions of its own recursive code, the effects can be unpredictable. When inoculated on into an individual with significant genetic damage, such as through radiation, it will cause the body's systems to suffer massive overhaul, like leading to organ failure and death. In a genetically viable individual, it rewrites portions of DNA, causing accelerated mutation, usually leading to recursive growth due to the FEV's own patterns. This recursive growth leads to an increase in muscle and brain mass but is often accompanied by disfigurement and damage to existing neural patterns, causing loss of memory. Which basically, uh, you know, mutants. That's not really a spore, it's basically saying, saying that. Um, what potential long-term side effects exist? As the FEV causes constant regenerative update to the DNA, it would effectively render the subject largely immortal as cell death would be offset by augmented growth. Additionally, as the gametes of the reproductive system consist of half cells using split DNA, they could be perceived as damaged by FEV, which would repair them, rendering the subject sterile. That is also important. So, and he's pretty long-witted too, but it is, he is a, uh, an AI. However, as my laboratory facilities are damaged beyond repair, this is conjectural. I cannot offer physical proof. You will have to, in human terms, take my word for it. Oh, well, hmm. Thanks for the information. I'm delighted to have been of assistance. This, this isn't going to work, but I'm going to click it anyway. Barter. Yep. Okay, we got some really important information from Zax here. I'm going to talk to him again. Want to play a game of chess? I would be delighted. Excellent form. However, you will need additional practice to defeat me. Want to play again? Play again? Play again? Play again? Okay, um... I think you can only beat him with 10 intelligence. Try a few more times. Okay, those are great. 10 games of chess, so we're just going to leave. I'm going to try to see if... Um, oh, i got to click this. Grant me access to the mainframe. Access denied. Terminating input. Um, okay, wonderful. I think you need 10 intelligence to um, beat him in chess. I wonder if it gives you a lot of experience points. We can come back here later. It's no big deal. Actually, if you wanted as many skill points as possible in this game, 10 intelligence when you start and choose the educated perk, I think it's called, on level 6, level 3. And that'll give you an enormous amount of skill points, but you get a lot when you just put like one or two points into it anyways, because... go in here because there's some there's some lockers there I want to search so we'll have to come back here anyway because I want to I want to beat him in chess I'm I can't remember for sure but I think you can beat him in chess 
Let's search this locker. Rockets. Crowbar and an assault rifle. And we got another big book of signs. We'll take that. And a repair book. We'll take that. Which we can because we're overburdened, over overburdened right now. Let's use the book. Which gives us 50% science. Search the locker again. And we'll um, pick that, I guess. Use that. Now we have 40% repair. I think with that tool we got earlier, that should help us with uh, repairing stuff. I want to search that dead body right there. But yeah, we'll have to come back here later for sure. I want to loot this place. Blue pass key. We'll definitely take that. Otherwise, we won't be able to continue. Anything in here? Just that. Anything in here? Okay, we explored. Well, we didn't go in there yet. There's probably nothing in there, but I like to go in all these rooms. Search around just in case. You never know, there might be like a million bottle caps or something. We're on level four of the glow right now. We, um, I'm gonna use, go ahead and use a Radex. Why not? Use that blue pass key we got. I'm glad dog meat doesn't have to worry about. Um, radiation. This elevator is not operable. It seems to need more power than emergency power can handle. So we'll go back over to um, this elevator and go down to level six. Red, not blue. I don't get shocked like a million times because I forgot the first time. Okay, go down to six. Go ahead and save. Well, okay, still. I'm checking my radiation every once in a while. Oh, we'll take out these um, robots. Yeah, we don't. We won't always crit, but it's, it's still a fair chance to crit with our ten with our ten luck. This one should be just about destroyed. Reload, turn. I don't want to accidentally uh, hit dog meat, though. I did switch over to single by accident. Forgot to do that after reloading to go to burst. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna play it safe and go back to the regular gun. It'd be very sad if I accidentally killed dog meat. Ugh. You be careful. Let's see how much hit points does he have. Okay, I gotta ooh, I gotta give him some some simpacks. Here you go, boy. This may, uh, may take a while because it keeps moving. There we go. May need to use a few more though. 26.
40. I'll use one more, because why not? We got we got a fair number of stud, of stud packs. There we go. Should be a 50. Yep. Go ahead and save. Oh, do these robots have anything on them? Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. This one has a sniper rifle. And I don't know... I wonder if items disappear if you put them on the ground. And I wonder if enemies disappear when you leave the area. Shoot. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. I'll come back. I really want to sell all the stuff that I accumulate in here. I think when I replay this in a year or so, I'll bring party members this time. That's not a big deal, it's just a little pistol. Anything in here? No, just a dead body here. Looks to peck. Okay. Anything in these corners? No, just a just a bed. It must be the Brotherhood's idea of a joke to send a random person in here for a for a quest. Right away. Knife. A plasma pistol. Can I carry that? Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and use. How many right aways do I have? Okay, I got. Oh, I got three. I'm just going to use one. Be safe. There. Now I got 100% radiation, and no, I'm not radiated anymore. Let's go in here because there's a dead body in there. Just ammo. Okay, this is where we uh, turn on the power. We just gotta fix this uh, generator here. These generators seem to be offline. You can wonder. You can. You wonder if you can start them back up. I had to pause there because I had to get a really big sneeze. Jesus, that was a huge one. Good thing I turned off the microphone. Okay. So basically, um, a long time since I played this, but I think this, I think you do this. Be able to start the generators. Oh. I should have saved before even trying this. There we go. You start the generators and all systems come back. And all systems seem to be coming back online. You gain a thousand experience points. Nice. Hey. Let there be light. Oh. That is satisfying. We now have power, guys. also bright right now okay we're still it looks like we uh we'll go back now let's save let's open this let's go in this elevator excuse me Level five, okay. You gain a thousand experience points. I see that's that's why it's probably a good thing I um, destroyed those machines up there because they come back and. I hope I, I hope I can take them.
Oh, nice. Check out the sentry uh, robot. Let's move out of the way. Yeah, this place would have been much harder if I uh, didn't take out those robots upstairs. I'm going to switch back to my 14 millimeter. I accidentally hit dog meat. There we go. Turn. The humanoid must not escape. It'd be cool if uh, dog meat took care of him. Frame hit, internal repairs initialized. Oh, come on, just die already. Well, not die, but get destroyed. If worse comes to worse, I could probably just leave and go back to the Brotherhood. What points do you have? He's... Oh boy. I may have to switch to the SMG. I may die here. Shoot. He's down. Oh boy, shoot. I don't think I can... I'm not sure if I can beat these guys, but I'm gonna heal up. And one more. Not. I'm completely out of... Um... Oh, shoot. Okay. Your bones are scraped. Yeah, thank you, Ron Perlman. I know I died. You don't need to rub it in. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time, I guess. So definitely some strong, uh, strong robots. Actually, oh shoot! I just realized I could probably just. Leave the power off. I wonder if I can turn it back off right now. Probably not. That's, that'd probably be too easy. Unless you needed to to go up to level five. I don't. I don't remember. Oh. Let's see if this works. Ah. All right. Take this. Come on, dog meat. Just if you want to get hit. Well, this would be much easier. That did a lot of damage, thank you. Ten points right there. Oh, we took care of him. Well, it. 39 there for the uh, sentry. did like no damage on that on that bot there that's okay this.
Oh. Okay. Nice. Oh, I had a shotgun on him. Go ahead and save. Computer? Okay, you can just turn on the power wherever. I don't have to go all the way to Zach's er not Zach's area, but shoot these robots here. I probably should have reloaded, but whatever, it's too late. Get the CPU. I'm ready to get out of here too, because I'm getting a little radiated again. I think that's because I reloaded. Um, when I was when these robots were activated, that's probably after I used the right away. I'll check my right away supplies after destroying these robots. This gun's really loud. Unfortunately, the 223 is going to be pretty loud too. From what I uh, from what I saw. CP here. Attempting combat maneuver. Well, the power, the power's out. They really shouldn't be saying anything, but whatever. We're calculating targets' offensive abilities. Shoot the CPU again. Of ammo? Just one more after this. There we go. That one's down. One more. Oh, I missed. I think that was the first miss in a while. Minor damage. There we go. Reload. End combat. We're pretty close to level 9. That one had a uh, sniper rifle. This one had a sniper rifle. I'm hoping they, uh, hoping these bodies don't disappear. I'd like to come back here and loot these uh, robots. Get myself a lot of a lot of ball caps. This seems strange. It looks like it'd be used on in your pit boy. Okay, let's let's use it. Downloading data from disk, you gain 100 experience points. Um, ah, okay. FEV experiment tape. Whoa, that's quite a lot of information here. You know what? I'm actually going to read it all. Okay, here we, here we go. Oh. Log date March 21, 2075. Major Barnett has ordered experiments with batch 10 011 of Panimmunity Virion, which has been renamed FEV for Forced Evolutionary Virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quad helix structure rather than its main effect of replicative stability. He believes the new structure is the next logical step for mammalian nuclei. Experience with single celled organisms is a great success. While their basal metabolism appears unchanged, their immunity to infection and radiation is exceeding all earlier expectations. Addendum, chloroplasts seem unaffected by the virion. Further experiments on plant cells have been canceled by order of Major Barnett. May 9, 2075. 
We infected several species of flatworm with FEV. Within hours, the worm ha the worms had increased in size by 28%, and 39 separate viral contagions were resisted by the population. Each sample was allowed to continue for several generations, and the new DNA structure was successfully pla passed on to worms' progeny, although only asexual reproduction was noticed in the samples. Experiments with insects have had less success. Marja Barnett has postponed these experiments until further notice. June 30, 2075, several lab strains of white mice have been infected successfully with FEV. Again, an increase in size was noted within hours, and after nine days, all mice had stabilized at 31% larger, larger than the control group. Dissection revealed the most increase in size in straight in uh, muscle tissue and in certain internal organs. This is liver, heart, and kidneys, and a surprising finding. Infected mice were found to run mazes in less than half of the time of the control group. More testing will be needed to confirm this finding as significant. This is fairly long, but I'm going to try to read it all, because why the heck not? November 9, 2075, we have infected 218 rabbits with FEV. Half of the subjects were implanted with electrodes to, them to monitor EEG activity before and after the infection. Increased electrical activity in the brain was noted in 3.2 seconds on average after injection. Again, the typical size increase was noted. However, increased aggression and posturing, especially among males, was noted as well. Sacrifice and perfusion yielded brain tissue that showed increased dendritic in connection, especially in the limbic system and frontal cortex. January 12, 2076, with batch 11011, we have improved the metotic cycle efficiency by 43%. We have infected three raccoons with the new strain. In addition to the now expected size increase, behavioral test and confirmed an increase in intelligence and manual dexterity by 19 points on the Schuler Cap Index. Unfortunately, several subjects escaped confinement and had to be hunted down and dispatched. Major Bar Neat Barnett ordered the remaining subjects terminated. Two pairs were unaccounted for. May 13, 2076. We have spliced several new gene sequences supplied by Major Barnett's advisory team into FEV with batch. 11101A, we infected 23 dogs of both pure and mixed breed and all experienced nearly immediate growth. The larger size was accompanied with increased aggressiveness, while no significant intelligence increase was noted. We plan to attempt crossover of 99 LL pairs with batch 11011. All subjects were terminated after 14 weeks of study. October 4, 2076. The crossover has been completed and 15 chimpanzees were infected with batch 11111. Growth and immunity levels are unprecedented. Attempts to induce cancers in the subjects through radiological and chemical agents were not successful. Increased aggressiveness have led to isolating the subjects. Two subjects suffered violent epileptic seizures and died. All remaining subjects terminated. Okay. January 7, 2077. Major Barnett has ordered transfer of all FEV research to the Mariposa military base. Okay. He plans to continue the project experiments on volunteer subjects. I am against this. I would like to note it here that research on human subjects is not recommended by myself or my staff. So, this is a very important um, tape. I gotta write something down. I forgot to do timestamps. 1.30. So I guess at 1 or so, I was at the glow. Okay, let's continue. And go in here. I got, I still got high radiation. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. I forgot to check my right away supplies. Okay, so, hmm. I still got radiated even with 100% radiation resistance, because that was empty. That's no big deal. Just look at these um, the test tubes for the FEV here. Let's go over here.
Open that door. And we can finally leave after this. Ooh. Combat armor. Okay. You see combat armor, highly tech armor made out of advanced defensive polymers. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. That's really handy. Scroll through all this. That there, can I pick this up? Please, no. Ah, uh, okay. Let that drop something. Maybe one of these. Okay. Um, I guess you can have that, I guess. There we go. I'll have to come back for those. I really want to loot this place. I may temporarily bring someone along to store stuff on them, but now we got body armor. We have armor class of nine. That gives us 20 to armor class, 40% normal, 60% to laser, 30% resistance to fire, 50 plasma, and 60, 40 for her explode. Nice. And we look, uh, we look pretty cool now. We got this another um, another disc. Delta experiment desk. Uh, we'll use that. Okay. The military have is deemed necessary for us to research further in depth the effects of wave technology upon living organisms. We have taken light and sound as the basis of our studies by, by manipulating an amplitude, the amplitude of the light waves magnifying the frequency. We've been able to get lasers which will, run, which will cut through a few feet of steel. Unfortunately, the power to do such a task has not been fully developed. We have other scientists looking into this. What's in here? That's a lot of ammo. Can I... I'm, do I even need that? Definitely have to come back here and, and get this stuff. Minigun. Yeah, this place is too good to pass up. Walkie-talkie and uh, hunting rifle. Microfusion cell and energy cell. Dagger counter. And pistols. And one more locker and we can get out of here. Plasma rifle and fusion cell. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. We'll definitely have to come back here. Let's do... Let's save. And go through our pile of junk. Let's use this uh, Geiger counter. Oh, it can only be used from... Item bar, I guess. You pass the Geiger counter over your body. The REM counter reads one. Okay, that's not bad. Let's just know how much radiation we have. We could probably just, you know, put that away once we go back, once we go home to the hub. Oh, right, we gotta search here. This locker. Another disc. Let's uh, use it. Let's see what that says. Alpha experiment tape. I do not want to read all this. I'll just I'll, I'll skim through it. If there's anything important, I'll mention it. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, bye. Not gonna read that. As much as I like to read through that stuff, I just don't feel like it right now. Okay, we got everything we can carry. We'll leave. Get out of here. Might be a good idea to turn on the lights now. We 
we found a lot of great stuff here. If these um, bots disappear and I can't grab their hunt, uh, their sniper rifles and stuff, that's okay. I'm sure we can live without it. Well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Before. I'm also going to equip that. That way I can just... Oh, we didn't go in there, but I bet there's nothing in there. But I'll check. Just check real quick. All right, nope. So I could probably use Mentats. Actually, I'm going to see if I can do that. Do I have it? Let's see if that works, actually. I'm going to do that before leaving. See if Mentats work against uh, Zax. I know I said I don't use Chems, but I'll, one time's not going to hurt you. The pillbox of mind-altering Chems increases memory-related functions and speeds other mental processes, causes cravings. I'm gonna test this out. Why not? How the heck not? Let's play some chess. Um, I guess you can't beat him. I'll check later on. Use the red uh, red key card. And I'm gonna go back to the glow, not the glow, the hub, and sell some stuff. Where's that? There it is. I can just do this, I guess. Nope, I can't. Doesn't path. Doesn't path that far. I guess. Hard for that. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and save. And let's just, I suppose, go here. I think if you do this, it takes way too long. There's a hell of a journey, too, all the way down there. Oh, it's Patrick again. Hello there. Um, so he gives you some directions, but we don't need that. We'll just get out of here. And I should be able to go from the hub from here. Yeah, it's not too far. We can go back and forth if we want to. You encounter a group of guardsmen on patrol. Um, keep your nose clean. Poor Harold, he's had a rough life. Indeed he has. I know that damn thieves circle is around here somewhere. Old town's really falling apart. This place smells. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to sell some stuff. Downtown. Let's go to Beth. Let's throw some weapons.
though. I wish I could get a day off. It's been so lovely out. Still alive, I see. I was starting to worry. What can I get you today? I have something to sell. Okay, you can have... Oh wait, do I have two? Yes, I do. Do you want this? How much um, all caps do you have? 1300. Max all that out. How much is this? Ooh, it's really, really uh, get us a lot. I gotta store those discs somewhere else. Do you want these? I don't want them. Here we go. I need lots of bottle caps. Something to sell. And you can have this too. And well, hold on. It's 2,500. I don't think anyone else in this game has more than that when it comes to bottle caps, so... With my luck, they probably do, and I just... Probably not... Optimize my bottle cap, uh... Bartering. Now we have 1100... 11,000, excuse me. Let's go back to our little hideaway. And let's go ahead and store some stuff. I'm going to put one of these here. I'm going to... Okay, that's the, I think that's the bum, ugh, the Brotherhood thing I need. I'm going to put this away. I don't need that anymore. But we'll keep that, though. What, wait, hold on. Um... Okay, um, I'm debating whether to go back to the glow and grab stuff and sell, or just go straight to Brotherhood. To the Brotherhood. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to go back and forth a little bit. I'll put this, no, that's the Geiger counter. I'll put this here. Hold on. Okay, this will be for, like, weapons and... You know, and other stuff like first aid and all that. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the, the discs we got in here. Just, just because. Do that. Um, okay, I think we're good. Now we're carrying 76... Uh, that may be way, be way too many trips, so I may not go back, actually. I may as needed. I may do it as needed. Just not sure yet. That in there. 66. How much does this weigh? 20 pounds. Because I could, I could just go back and get all those uh, supplies, but it's going to take a lot of trips. I think I'll just ignore it for now. I'll go back as needed. I'll probably go ahead and take this now. I wonder how much that pistol weighs. Seven pounds. This is... 350, 87. Seven seventy-three. Okay, that's a lot of ammo to carry. I think I'll carry two. Uh, the Valhall Rat Gaming. Thanks for the follow. And thanks for uh, joining us in this wasteland journey. I had like an alert set up for like a follower alert, but it's not popping up for some reason. I probably did something wrong.
Or it's just delayed. But anyways, I think I'll carry more of these. Yeah, 200 ought to do it. Oh shoot, I think I'm gonna bring... What's his name? It'd be too much work to go back and forth to the glow, I think, because those weapons are really, really heavy. Oh, this is, um, Fallout 1. It's been a long time since I played this. Long, long time, like 10 years. I'm going to save. Have you played any of the uh, later ones? Fallout 3, 4, New Vegas. Yeah, number 3 was... Uh, I was okay with it. I mean, I bought, I bought this... I bought these games, Fallout 1 and 2. New Vegas is really good. It's... Really, really good game. One day I'm gonna return to it, but... Oh, we got police officers here again. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong, I'm just sort of exploring. <laughs> right on. Um... It'd probably been better if I just go around these mountains. Going through these mountains here is a little slower for traveling. It's not a huge deal, but... I was a little worried, too. That was the wrong... Wrong area. I'm going back to the Brotherhood. We just came from the Glow. They sent us to the Glow to find... something. Hopefully I still have it. Hopefully I didn't store it away. Regulator transmission? Is this the same one? I think I accidentally put it away. So there's, how's the rendering on the mountains? They're okay. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Um, I sure did. Great, but um, the high elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. Okay, here you go. Lie. Just come back when you have something. Okay. So... Yeah, the talking heads in this game are very... Uh, it's very iconic. Because I, I got an item from the glow that that guy sent us to. I may have stored it by accident. I love, I love it too. There are party members in this game, but I'm trying to play without them. But I'm debating on just bringing uh, bring someone along so I can uh, store more stuff, but I'm trying to play without party members right now. Okay, this, okay, here it is. One, two, three, four. It doesn't label what these are in the inventory. Also, sorry if it seems like I'm a bit uh, quiet for a while before reading your thing because I set up a chat overlay and a follower alert overlay, but it doesn't seem to be popping up for me. I wonder that. Yeah. I don't think there's a perk in here that improves your um, stats when you're just on your on your own though I do have the dog with me okay I remember now one of those uh, discs is for another another mission I gotta do the regulator transmission I need that and that's what we need for um, for Cabot that Brotherhood of Steel guy so we'll go back
Yeah, I was debating going, um, just pure solo, but when dog meat, when I saw dog meat, I thought, oh, I gotta bring the dog along. I have to. He's been kind of uh, carrying us uh, a little bit during, uh, especially at Necropolis, uh, the town we were at in the last stream. He really helped out, helped us out against Pharaoh Ghouls. Yeah, it's click to move. I don't know if there's any other way to, uh, oops, pressing A puts us into combat mode. But yeah, this is where Fallout started. Fallout 1 and 2, developed by Interplay, until Bethesda bought it, um, 2006 to 2008. Ooh. Hey, they're really out here. Okay, this is a very special random encounter. Can I see the combat? Yeah, um... Oh shoot, if you came in earlier, I fought a bunch of robots in the last area. So let's search these bones. And there's a fuzzy painting painting here, I don't know what that is. An image of a singer, obviously very old. The image has a felt, has a felt coating that is still in good condition. I'll grab that. And here we go. This is an alien blaster. And this weapon is... Really, uh, really something. A strange gun of obviously alien origin. Looks like it can support small energy cells, however. 30 shots of small energy cells. And this... I'm not going energy weapons on this, though. But... Now that we're here... I could say if you want to play like a gunslinger in this game... So right now I have points in energy weapons, not energy weapons, small guns. I'm sticking with small guns, but if you wanted to move away from small guns to energy weapons, this weapon is absolutely uh, 30 to 90 points of damage compared to the 223 pistol, which is the best 20 to 30 points of damage. You basically win the game with the alien blaster right here. You'll have a very, very easy time. I'm going to keep that as a souvenir. Yeah, I'm a bullet guy too. I've always used, in Fallout 3, New Vegas, and 4. I like using revolvers in, uh, in 4. I like playing stealth. This is my first time playing a gunslinger in um, the first Fallout game. We got a, uh, a perk, one-handed, which improves like 20% accuracy. Out of nowhere, a rad scorpion suddenly strikes. Shoot him in the eyes. That's where rat, that's where dog meat's really handy. He really knows how to uh, take out these guys. See, I'm a rifle guy. Energy weapons are cool though. I did like the energy weapons in four. Yeah, you can go melee. They got sledgehammers, brass knuckles in here, knives, spears. Melee is pretty good in this game, from what I um, from what I read. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Um. Yeah, sure did. Great. But um. Yeah, we already went great. through that. Hang on while I open the door. There we go. I've never played, uh, 76. This guy say anything? This paladin? Greetings. Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. What is the Brotherhood of Steel? The Brotherhood is a collective of men and women who have dedicated their lives to the preservation of technology. I've heard that you people sacrifice puppies. But what type of armor is that you're wearing? This is Powered Combat Infantry Armor Model 251B, or more commonly known as Power Armor. Hmm, I've been wandering the waste for weeks for weeks now, and I've never seen armor like this before. That's actually not true. We came from the glow, and there was a dead Brotherhood guy over there. Is, there's a lot of res there's a lot of settlement building in Fallout 76, isn't it? The Brotherhood are the sole bearers of the power armor in the waste. Only the honored and knights of the highest stature are given the privilege to wear the ultimate armor. 
that still doesn't answer the question, answer why I've never seen it before. Oh, what the heck? I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. Hmm, bug? Okay, thanks, bye. Well, now we leveled up. And we can choose a perk again. At our third perk. Let's, uh, ooh. Yep. Better criticals. So we're going to choose that. I'm going to look through these, though. So, um, see if there's any um, more stuff we can choose. Smooth talker, sharpshooter, scrounger, no, scout, ranger. Mutate. Oh, you can change your traits to something else if you choose this. Um, shoot. Okay. Most of these traits we've, uh, we got before in our last stream. So every three levels you get a trait, you get, you get a perk in this game. Welcome back. Uh, okay, I know what I'm. I know what I'm gonna choose. Well, obviously we're gonna choose better criticals. The critical hits you cause in combat are more devastating. You gain a 20% bonus on the critical hit table, almost ensuring that more damage will be done. This does not affect the chance to cause a critical hit. We're choosing that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I was kind of confused there for a second. But, yeah. Earlier, though, we got another point to luck from talking to an NPC. So now we can do 50% critical hit chance with uh, more criticals perk. Needless to say, we're we're um we're gonna be a crit machine. Well, let's finally go in here. That last uh, mission we went on to the glow, what took it like an hour. And who's this guy? Good day, initiate. How may I help you? Oh, that's a woman. You can hit arm if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, where is this? Uh, could you tell me where I might find our high elder? Max and the High Elder can be found on the fourth floor. If you take the other elevator down to level four, it should be either in the council room or the elders' rooms. You can ask one of the guards on that level. They should know where he is at the moment. We're going to get some better weapons. You should talk to Talus. He might be able to help you, or at least tell you who you might talk to. During the day, Talus is normally supervising the training hall. Do you know where that is? No. The training hall is right around the corner. Just go down this corridor, make a left, go through the door at the end of the corridor, and it'll be through the door on your right. Um, training hall. Yeah, hurry again. They. Oh, hold that place. Okay, bye. Yeah, this game is. Uh, a charisma is not really helpful in this a game, though, unless you want to sleep with two characters or something. Because all the all the speech, um, the speech dialogue you get is all from just from your speech skill. Let's go in here. I'll talk to these. Uh, oh, these are just guards. They're probably not going to like if I dig through their foot lockers. So I'm going to leave them alone. This is like the most advanced area in the game besides the vault uh, we came from. Because basically, in the beginning of the game, we had to find a water chip for our Vault 13. And we actually just did that on our last, uh, on the last stream. Find the water chip. And now our mission is basically to find the source of the mutants. That, you know, we all know and love from the pre uh, later games. And, um, destroy the mutant leader. There was a time limit, too, for the water chip. We had 150 days, in-game days, to, uh... To make it. Yeah, me too. Fallout 1 and 2 is very good. If you ever get a chance to play it, I would definitely pick it up like on a sale on GOG or something. I think they go for like $1 on the sale. I'm going to save. Probably a good idea to save, actually. Well, I think we get... In close combat, the technique you use depends on your opponent's size, reach, and quickness. If given the opportunity, to test your opponent. 
I think we get a bonus to un unarmed if we watch this. Can't remember. Don't watch the attack. All right, my little one. Try to hurt my poor old Gramps. Try to hurt poor old Gramps. You see how he lost his balance? Overextending yourself leaves you open for a counterattack. When you attack, be sure not to overextend. Why is overextending so bad? If you had the opportunity for a kill, shouldn't you go for it? That's a lot of that's a lot to risk your life over. There you go. Overextending leaves your inside vulnerable to a counterattack and puts you off balance. One little shove will land you right on your ass. Okay, let's give another young punk a try at Gramps. So we got a lot of uh, points to, uh, not a lot, but some points to melee and unarmed, which we're not going to use, but it's nice to get points into skills anyways. It's like our character, character is developing. I don't know if it continues though. Are you sure you want to be a scribe initiate? Initiate. Those talents would be. Uh, we'll just keep you in reserve, okay? Uh. I could add you, but I don't really watch streams on um, on Twitch. I've just been. Too darn busy to tune into streams lately. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll bookmark your uh, your stream and I'll, I'll check it out sometime. That's all for now, so let's review. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I think this is all, though. I don't think we can... Uh, I don't think we can do anything here. I don't think we can... I'm actually going to see if we can open this locker. There's nothing in there. Ah, oh boy. Where do I go? Where is... There's something here I want to find. There's something really important. I don't really uh, play, mo play uh, online games anymore. I don't even know what a uh, City of Heroes. You too, man. Thanks for tuning in. Only scribes and paladins are allowed in this room. Okay. Let's... Oh, okay. I remember this guy. Uh, it's just me. I like how he... Uh... Explain yourself, initiate. I'm new here and I don't know my way around. Then leave, and I will forget this little incident. Barter. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Okay, I think I, um, I remember a guy at work was talking about City of Heroes, and he was really, really into it. I haven't played MMOs in years, though. I'm more of a single-player guy. Oh, I can't go in there, right? We're not a scribe or an initiate. Okay, let's go to level two. And let's go... Hold on. Okay, radiation is gone. Good night, Vol Hat Ray. Vol Rat... Vol... 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 Vol Hall Rat Gaming. That doesn't roll off the tongue too well. 
Well, unarmed melee is actually pretty high. Wow. Okay, let's talk to... I'm sorry, but I can't talk right now. I have a class to run. So I remember the Brotherhood of Steel from this game. And I always thought they were like good guys. But they're not really. This door is locked. It must be really nice for them to have work in toilets, sinks, and running water and showers. Door's locked? Door's locked. Okay, these are just the barracks. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. A Brotherhood's doctor. Doctor's assistant. Lori's the doctor. Okay, let's talk to her. Hello, how can I help you? Do you do operations? But of course, but it's very costly and time-consuming. Details? Well, I can help make you stronger, more perceptive, increase your endurance, help improve your learning process, and increase your dexterity. Which would you like more information on? I can only do each operation once. Okay, this is the part where I um, explain why, well, you, probably, you guys probably guess I set my stats to 9, perception, intelligence, endur not endurance, intelligence, agility, and luck. Not luck. Agility. So strength, we got perception at 9, intelligence at 9, agility at 9. So you can bump up your stats by 1 through the doctor here. I'm going to do strength first. That's easy to do, but there's a long recovery time. It only costs 2,000 scripts, but takes 3 weeks to heal. I'll do it. Okay, here goes nothing. Just kidding, we can start right away. She gasses you up and you slowly slip away. So how are we feeling? You can already tell the difference. You're quite a talkative person in your sleep. You're free to go. Good day. Now that's pretty uh, pretty cheap, but here we go. We now have five strength, which gave, gave us more hit points and more carry weight, which is really nice. But the reason why I started with strength first was because... Let me equip everything uh, here. It's because... This pistol, the 223 pistol, requires 5 strength minimum in order to use it. So now we can use the best pistol in the game. Well, not the best pistol in the game, but the best small guns pistol in the game, to be more accurate. The best uh, pistol is the Alien Blaster. <laughs> but okay. So that was only 2,000 uh, bull uh, bullet. 2,000 bottle caps. Oh, we got champion now. Your actions have revealed you to be a champion of the people. Your war against evil and villainy is widely known. Honorable people will respect you better. So that was cheap, but let's see how much it costs to get intelligence, because getting some extra skill points sounds really helpful. Let's do intelligence. This is the most complex and dangerous. It'll take three weeks and cost 6,000 scripts. I'll do it. Now, where's the brain again? What's this thing supposed to do? You try to fight the Kens, but it's a losing battle. Well, it looks great. Well, it looks like I got it all back in and everything's running great. It's as if the pathways of your thoughts have direct links to everywhere in your head and your memories are much crisper. Take it easy. Okay, now we got 10 intelligence. Which gives us... Oh, we still haven't spent our um, points earlier. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll put... This is fine. Put this here. Although you could bank your skill points, I think. Yeah, you can. I think I'm going to do that. I probably should have done that. Oops. Didn't mean to hit my microphone. I probably should have done that, but... Whatever, it's too late. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just debating on what else I'm going to put points into once I get 
that these are a bit too high. I'm just not sure how high the lockpick skill needs to be or the speech skill, so I might leave those alone for the rest of this playthrough. But all we have left to do is perception, agility, and endurance. And I think charisma. I think charisma goes up too. I can't remember. I'm going to go check real, real quick. I'm going to save my game, because now we have... 3,000 uh, bottle caps. Let's talk to Lori. Operations. Okay, perception, endurance, and agility. Agility cost 5,000 scripts. That's that. Perception costs 4,000 only a week. And then endurance costs 3,000 a week. Okay, so I'm, I'm definitely going to go back to the glow. I'm probably going to bring Ian with me temporarily. So I can uh, offload supplies onto him. What we loot there, now I'll just let him go. I think you can let him go. But once we're done, we'll have 5 strength, 10 perception, 5 endurance, and 10 agility, along with 10 um, intelligence and luck. And we'll have a fairly, uh, fairly good character. But most importantly, I want his strength at 5 so I can use that pistol. So let's get out of here. We'll come back later. That's the most expensive thing in the game, buying those uh, stat upgrades. But it does eat into your um, your time. Like if you wanted a speed run or something. You know, because there is kind of a time limit, I think, for version 1.2. I just can't remember. I don't know if they removed it or if it's just really, really long now. But let's go find Maxon. And, uh... Talk to him, do some stuff for the uh, Brotherhood. Maybe get some experience points. It's right now. We're level 9. Because, yes, you can wear the uh, Brotherhood armor in this game, of course. And to be honest, last time I played this, I don't think I... I, I didn't think I liked the way the armor looked, so I just wore the, the combat armor for the rest of the game. So it's not like you need um, the power armor. But I'm aware for this playthrough for sure. I mean, it's power armor. Ah, so you're the new initiate. Welcome aboard. What can I do for you? Who are you and what do you do here? I'm Paul, head of energy weapons development. What kind of energy weapons? Laser, plasma, you name it. I've built it. Or at least we built it. Um... I don't think I... Well, let's see if I can get one for free. Any chance I can get one? We have to see Michael to be issued a weapon. He can't authorize you for one, though. For that, you would have to see Talus. All right, where can I find them? They are both on the first floor of the base. Talus is usually on the training room, and Michael does his duty just outside of the storage room. Thanks. Can I ask you some more questions? Hmm. Where can I get some new weapons? Okay, he's just... That's the same thing. He can't barter. Either. So let's get the heck out of here. Go over here. And this is probably just the barracks right here. Yeah, more barracks. Scribes. Knights. Let's just get out of here. Let's go talk to Maxon first. I know I gotta talk to these uh, people here, but... Enter the elevator. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is level three. That says three right there. There we go. Mathia and General Maxon. And you probably uh, remember Maxon later Fallout games. So let's talk to them. Let's talk to Maxon first. Uh, hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> kind of like me, huh? 
He doesn't sound like what a leader of the Brotherhood of Steel would sound like, an elder. But, okay, do you have any clues as to what's behind the disappearance of the caravans? When we heard about the missing caravans, we sent out a few scouts east and north. The ones that went north never returned. One came back from the east. He talked about a score of strange beings, all muscle with burning eyes. The elders aren't doing squat, but I'm getting ready just the same. Um, I believe I have ran into these creatures you are describing. They are not to be taken lightly. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside, like you. Okay, well, for 1,000 caps, I'll check out what's going on up north. He might not like that. I'm going to choose it. Pretty interesting set of priorities and loyalties you got there. Well, take it or leave it. Well, how about nothing? Guards, kick this fool out. By God, we'll defend the Brotherhood without your damn help. He does not like mercenaries. <laughs> he kicks us out. <laughs> he was not kidding about that. Oh, boy. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't choose that on my first playthrough. I played like a super duper good guy who was completely um, not selfish. So we'll do this again. There goes... I was hoping to make some caps for... Uh, oh, he's general, not an elder. Uh, hello, youngster. Okay, when we go all through this again. Caravans, we then you understand the problem. Okay, I'll go scout out the area to the north and report what I find. Anything else you need to ask? Would it be possible for me to get hold of some better weapons? Well, I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Okay, bye. Well, can you barter? Nope. Of course not. Okay, Maxon has carried a weapons upgrade for you. What would you like? I want your most expensive weapon. So I can sell it for caps. I wonder which what that would be. I'm tempted to uh, just look up look online, but that's kind of lame. Um, I guess I'll just take your rocket launcher. I feel like that's the most um, most expensive. There you go. Glad you're on our side in this shit. This will be my payment for going up north for General Maxon here. Go ahead and save. Let's talk to Mathia again. Hello, Initiate. So you are the one who made it out of the Ancient Order alive. Then who are you? The name is Mathia. I'm officially Maxon's assistant, but I'm also here to make sure no one messes with the old man. What do you do as Maxon's assistant? I take care of all the paperwork. He could not do paperwork to save his life. Also, if he clears a weapons upgrade for one of the brothers, I process the order. Can you barter? Nope. Okay, thanks for the information. It's a... Uh... I guess there's nothing else here. But yeah, he does not like mercenaries. He pretty much kicked us out. I got a good laugh out of that. I actually did not know that could happen because when I played this, I played kind of a, a pure good guy who didn't ask for any rewards or anything like that. But, whatever. I know, actually, uh, 10 years. I think it was longer than 10 years since I played this. Mainframe. A large supercomputer, probably the fastest looking computer you've ever seen. Let's see what that... I forgot what this uh, does. Oh. Well, let's see, if I, let's see if I can use this. Science. You failed to learn anything. Let's try again. And again. I think our science is a little too low. Okay, I'm gonna reload because I think there's like some sort of. I was reading the more times you fail, the less likely it is to be successful. At least in regards to pairing stuff. Like that January back at the glow, but let's go. Let's just get out of here. Our science isn't too high right now. Go up, up, up here. Anybody here? Talk to? This place is really clean and professional. 
Brotherhood Elder, 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 Elder. Let's see if they say anything. Greetings, Initiate. Greetings, Initiate. I need to speak to you. I speak with you. I motion for you to come closer. About what? There's an urgent matter I need you to help me with. It's Maxon. We are pretty sure he's gone off the deep end. He keeps babbling about an army massing to the north. I'm not willing to send our troops up there into possibly radiated areas unless I got absolute proof that this army exists. I need someone who isn't a friend of the old man. Someone I can get an honest report from. Are you willing to check the northern region? Yeah, I'll do it. Good. First, go talk to Maxon if you haven't already. Report back to me when you've checked the Northern Territory. After that, we'll decide what to do with Maxon. Wish me luck. Maxon seems a bit stressed lately. Good day, Initiate. Good day, Initiate. Okay, well, let's double check our... Hmm. So we got the mission for them from them to do something, um, to go up north. But it's not showing up on our our list. Oh, okay. The archives, just the uh, just those, the beginning briefing from the overseer in the vault thirteen. Water. Okay, let's go back to where those. Scribes were that I want to talk to. Yeah, some level three. Uh, let me see. No. There we go. Okay. Let's go in here. Talk to the scribes. Scribe, scribe. Being a scribe is the best. You get to study all the old technologies and try to develop new ones. Free. Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I know you're the master scribe, but what does that mean? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Interesting. That means you know stuff. Yes. I guess you could say I know stuff. Hmm. What can I help you with? I'd like to know about the weapons we make here. Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. I've got another question. Go ahead. I heard something about hollow disks. How can I read them? We already know that, but let's click on that. Use your Pip Boy 2000 to read the disks. Insert the disk into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Where can I learn the computer skills? The Brotherhood had some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Okay, that should do it. Um. Do I just click on that? What can I help you with? Er, okay. Well, how can I prevent radiation poisoning? We already know that, but let's let's see what she says. You would need some anti-radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. You know, I think that would have been helpful, like if you're playing this the first time, if you were told that before. Because you have to go to the glow, which is heavily radiated, before you can even get to the Brotherhood bunker. Can I ask you something else? Go ahead. What's causing all the mutations? Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. Why do you say that? All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Sounds like a plan. How do I... Do I use this to... Or do I have access to the terminal? Not get there. Why can't I? Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna reload that. 
Actually, no, I, I shouldn't. It's too far. What can I help you with? Use your Pip Boy 2000 to read the discs. In hmm. Maybe it already uh, gave us the the bump. Let me let me see. I'm gonna make another save real quick. B O S bunker. I'll go ahead and load this. Mm, nope. Not get there. Oh, there we go. Uh, science? Hmm. Well, I just won't worry about it. So let's go. I'm going to go... I think I'm going to temporarily bring Ian along. And then go back to the glow and grab a bunch of stuff. Then um, sell my rocket launcher so I can get some money. Hello. Um. Already did all that. Thank you. Just leave. Okay. I'll go ahead and save. Before, uh, Brotherhood stuff, I guess. I'm gonna go back to the hub. Around these mountains. Oh, okay. Nice, I can test out my new weapon. Well, let's uh, shoot him first in the eyes. Okay, 19 points of damage. Move away. Kill this fool. I'm glad they all have spears and not Oh, not guns. Oh, you, uh, Raider was cruelly hit in the eyes for 84 hit points, causing blindness. She grimaces. So now we can do lots of damage with our pistol. Missed, missed, and sh he's, she's running away, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just... Shoot her, 26 points. Shoot him in the eyes. That's pretty loud, I'm gonna... 90 hit points, so... We crit for a lot now, which is pretty awesome. Put this down a little bit. Right from him. And they're dead. Let's see what they have. 17 bottle caps. Spear. No, I'll, I'll take these, um... I'll take these spears. I think I can grab all of them. How much do they weigh? Four pounds, that's not bad. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. I'll grab all this. I don't have a whole lot of bottle cast, but I'll take it. 25, she had the most. And we'll sell all of that to Beth. Okay, back to the uh, hub.
Downtown. Now let's talk to Beth and sell our stuff. Got something to sell, show me what you got. Scroll all the way down. She can have this. I'm not gonna use those buff outs. How much is this alien blaster? Whoa. You can sell that for a lot, but I don't think anyone in this game has that many bottle caps on their person. That's 600 there. Hundred. Next out of conversation, talk to her again. And let's sell that rocket launcher. Oh, it takes a little annoying going through the inventory like this, but 1997 game. It doesn't bother me. We'll sell this. There you go. She said that's a good trade, but I'm losing money since sending you that, uh, giving you that. Now we got 5,000. What else can we sell? We need that. I better make sure not to lose that. Um, how much is this way? Five pounds for the Energy, uh, the alien blaster. Let me put that away. Okay, let's put this. Actually, first let's um, empty, empty that. Which I kind of like doing. Now we could probably put this uh, SMG away. We probably don't need that anymore, so put that in there. We'll put just in case, we'll just put that there. Put that there. And now we got now we should be uh, good to go. How many okay, we got plenty of rad X's. I don't know what this fuzzy painting is. I can barely see what that see that guy's face. Elvis, uh, Elvis Presley reference. Oh, waste 12 pounds. That's why I'm, I can't carry much darn painting in my uh, inventory. I wonder how much that is. Let's, let's check it out. 300. So I'm going to keep it a little souvenir. A little souvenir from um, the alien uh, random encounter. Let's uh, put that there. Okay, we got lockpick tools. All right, let's go ahead and save. Now we have, okay, we can carry almost 100 pounds of weight now. I'm now gonna go back to Shady Sands and go get Ian. If dog me will get out of the way, thank you. I'll go ahead. I'll go get him so we can carry a bunch of stuff back uh, back to the hub. Because we need bottle caps for the operations back at the Brotherhood. Because I want some. Uh, I want some stats. I'm also. I mentioned this in the beginning, but I'll mention it again. I'm gonna go ahead and probably play this a little bit longer tonight. For maybe an extra hour. I figure I'm good to go for streaming. I aim for at least two hours, but I usually do four because I feel pretty good at feel pretty good to do four. I think six hours max on any given day. And Saturdays I can basically do any day. I don't know what people's schedules are. I just chose Saturday eight in the evening. Just because. It's like a little break day. I 
almost there. Good thing we don't have a time limit right now. Okay, let's go talk to Ian. And Tandy is still hanging out outside the town there. Okay, let's do this. Before the glow. Actually, let me, just to be more specific. Getting stuff from the glow. If I can type properly. Hello, Ian. Can you, could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Hmm, tempting offers since this place gets boring. Tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps, and you got a deal. How about a piece of the action instead? All right, I'll help you out in exchange for my share of the loot. Let's go. It'll be good to get back, in ac get back into action. Now you can... Let me see if I can... Um... Okay, you can tell him to leave. Okay. So, I believe with the steel interaction, you can give him items and you can take it back. I just don't know if he has a limit to carrying like we do. But let's go ahead... Back to the glow... Bit of a long, long journey. Can I use... Okay, no, I can't. Go to the glow. I don't know if anyone's played this so many times, if it's worth actually traversing around mountains to save on um, travel time. Probably not now, because we don't have... We don't have a time limit, I believe, but probably for like if the wall for the water chip if you wanted to do as many quests before doing the water chip. You see an overturned truck in the distance. Okay, whoa. Well, we're pretty rich now. I'm Grabbing all of that. That's all mine. This is mine. And this is mine. It's like that one um, old cartoon. I forget which of the... What? Daffy Duck, Donald Duck. Found a whole bunch of bottle caps and he thought himself so rich in some sort of area. But holy crap. We were on our way to the Glow to find weapons to sell, and we came across a whole bunch of bottle caps. That basically plays, pays for operation right there, but we're going to go to the Glow anyway. Because why not? I've already set the plan in motion. I don't know why it sends us to that corner there. Hey, Prosecutor. Oh, we got rats now. But we're gonna go ahead back to the glow. Anyway, because... It's always good to have money. Oh, we could finally use that 223 pistol. I'm probably wasting the bullets on these rats, though. Oh, I am Shoot him. And there we go. I ended up trying something, I don't know if this, uh, if, you, if people can change the resolution on this stream, because I bumped it up from 720, 960 by 720 to 1280 by 960. I figured what the heck, because, and there's still a rat there, I didn't even notice it. Okay. 
But it should be fine. The glow. Okay, you can just go straight to level one. That's awesome. Um, let's go ahead and use that Radex. Use, uh, how many do you need to use? The two Radexes give us 100% radiation resistance. Okay, let's go grab some stuff. There's a lot of stuff here to loot that we missed out on because... If I ever get to replaying this in the future, I'll remember to bring um, a party member along. So we can uh, grab everything. Just temporarily. We cleared this earlier. Actually, I'll just... I'm going to remember to come back to that. The best stuff is in the bottom of this place. I remember to come back for those later. I'm going to check here first. Actually, no, I'm just going to go. I came here earlier. I couldn't grab. There's a lot of stuff to loot. Sure. That I would love to uh, pick up for, um, for Beth so I can get bottle caps. Mm, actually, hold on a second thought. I'm going to... I'm going to go all the way at the bottom and start and start from there. I hope Ian can carry like a million pounds or something like that. That would be awesome. Okay, good. There's still... I was worried about that. When we killed these uh, robots, when they were deactivated, I was worried they would despawn. And I can't pick up their weapons. I think one or two runs in here, grabbing all the uh, weapons to sell. Should be enough for... Uh, should be enough bottle caps. I think we have enough now because we found that overturned truck. That really surprised me. Okay, here we are, I think. No, this is uh this is not it. Level five, I believe. Actually remember this th this dead body here only has a ten millimeter pistol. So we'll go over here. Second thought, I'll go ahead and grab this. Let me talk to Ian real quick. Okay, you can't go into his inventory without doing this. I think this works. There we go. You can do back and forth. Um, like this. I'll go ahead and take this because he doesn't need it. We're going to get rid of him after our little loot run. Then we'll go up to level 5. I think this guy has shotgun. I'll pass on that for now. Yeah, that's worth a lot, I believe. A sniper rifle. If we were playing a non-gunslinger, then a sniper rifle would be pretty awesome to have. Weighs 10 pounds. An excellent long-range projectile weapon. Ooh, it's got two 23s. Here we go. I definitely need those. Okay, we'll grab these. I'll grab that too, and this. That's worth that's worth quite a bit. And there's a plasma rifle a plasma rifle here we'll take. We'll take that. That. I'm gonna go ahead and empty out. That, so we can sell the ammo. Now we have 132. Search this locker. See all that. 
Take all this. Oh, we actually managed to carry all that. Okay, now we gotta give this to Ian. Okay, Ian, how much can you carry? I'll go ahead and give him all this. Hold that. Hold that for me, please. Hold that. I'll just give him all the weapons. Here you go. Now we have 85. I forgot what was in here. Okay, I'll grab that too. Just grabbing everything. I'm hoping Ian can hear you carry like a million pounds or something. That'd be really handy. Oh, hold on. Uh, into the ammo. Any gun. See, I keep forgetting to empty the ammo, empty the uh, empty the weapon. All right, Ian, can you carry any more for me, please? I guess you can. Um, I guess I'll give him all ammo too. That's pretty heavy. this. Alright. We got 90. Got anything in here? Alright. I'm glad I checked. When I see the minigun, I'm reminded of uh, Terminator 2 when Arnold fired the minigun against the, the cops and the cop cars. Okay, there's a lot of ammo here. And grenades. Okay, we looted this area. So I'll go ahead and save. There's nothing in there. There's some lockers in here too, before I forget. That's empty. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? I don't think we'll ever need those uh, first aid kits. But... Just in case. I'm just really hoping Ian can carry out a lot of stuff. That'll be really, really, really handy. Do these... These bots don't carry anything, I don't think. Nope. Okay, open with a blue key card. Well, I'll remember to bring Ian next time <laughs> when I replay this. Definitely going to want to replay this one day. Let's go to level six. He has nothing. I'll go ahead and grab this 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter pistol from this uh, dead body here. Okay, nothing in there. Dead body here. Ammo. Running really low. I better give uh, Ian some stuff. Okay, Ian, um, you can carry this. Carry these grenades too. Just carry everything. That. OK, 
Okay. I'll carry the, um, the tools here. Okay. He still has them all right. Didn't go nowhere. Okay. Go ahead and save one more time. Not one more time, but we'll be saving a lot, of course. Check these guys already. We'll take every take everything. Do that. I suppose on a future replay, I can probably just switch to the um, energy weapons. The alien blaster we got earlier is uh, very powerful. Uh, the 223 pistol should be. It should be, especially since we have. Chance for chance for critting is pretty high. And just crits do more damage now. It should be good to go. But yeah, grab everything. Grab all of it. So now that people know. Since we went through the glow about a few hours ago, not a few, but about two hours ago, destroy those robots before you turn on the power. These rockets. Well, if uh, Ian can actually carry practically everything, I think we um, are going to be pretty rich after this. Let's talk to Zax again. I wonder if I can beat him at uh, chess again. Not again, but I wonder if I can beat him at chess. I don't think he can. Let's play. Excellent form. However, you will need additional practice to defeat me. Hmm. Play again? Uh, play again? Oh, whatever, man. Grant me access to the mainframe. Access granted. Okay, main menu. Base information. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government. The company initially consisted of two divisions, the Advanced Weapons... Oh, he already... We already went through this, I think. Yeah, we did. Security information? Security robots active. Oh, you can de deactivate the robots here. Well, we don't need to do that, we already killed them. Research information... Research Division Employees Records. Research personnel records. Robert Anderson, research assistant, security clearance blue, station Mariposa military base. Nick Davis, director of the NBC division of West Tech Research, security clearance blue, station West Tech Research Facility. John Isaac. Uh, Steve Remco. I'm not going to read the, all that right there. Charles Rigenhold. Michelle Stantos, lab tech. Aaron Shellman, lab tech. Mariposa, Leon von Felden, head of FEV, download records to Pip Boy. Okay, um, power armor status complete. Power armor specs: the T-51B powered infantry armor is designed with the latest passive defense features for both civilian and military disturbances. The back-mounted TX-28 Merco Fusion. I guess they mean microfusion, it's probably a typo pack. It generates 60,000 watts to power the high flow hydraulic systems built into the frame of the suit. Made of the latest poly laminate composite, the T 51B shell is lightweight and capable of absorbing over 2,500 joules of kinetic impact. The 10 micron silver ablative coating can reflect laser and radiation emissions without damage to the composite subsurface. I'll download that. FEV Force Evolutionary Virus, status pending. Okay. 2073, as China becomes increasingly aggressive with their use of biological weapons, the United States government feet felt that a countermeasure was needed. Okay. We read that earlier, too. Combat the newly created bodies to alter. Okay, so what's saying? It's clear the best way to combat 
newly created bio bioweapons was to alter un uninfected DNA. So it was no longer susceptible to uh, to that. FEV virus. Okay. Tests on lab animals are at near 100% success rate. Size and muscle density increase. That's how I created mutants. Although the military... The military wishing to continue further testing builds a large facility at the Mariposa military installation in Central California. At this new facility, testing of the FEV virus continues on volunteer subjects from the military. Let's download that. Okay. Terminate program. And we got a lot of um, info right here. FEV research. We got that. Power armor specs. That's going to be important. And if someone for some reason wanted me to read all this right here, I'll do it on the next stream. Because I read through all of this about two hours ago, and I'm just kind of... not. I read it out loud. And it was just stuff that you're just not going to really care about, really. I read everything on my own, my own but reading it out loud is pretty, pretty crazy. Let's go back up to six. Go back down to six. Okay, yeah, we got everything here. They need to go there. I'm just making sure. Red key card. I wish it would open automatically if you use it, but... Three. Let's make sure we got everything in here. No. I guess we got everything in here. Just double checking to make sure. I don't want to come back here. Okay. We still got 100% radiation resistance. So basically all you need is two rad X's for this area. I'd probably bring four just in case. It's a good thing we took out those robots before turning on the power. See, empty that. Take the shotgun shells. Going up to two. One save. Make sure to loot, loot, loot this area. I seem to be having problems talking tonight. Grab that. Okay. Got to give this to uh, Ian. Hello, Ian. Uh, stop moving. Okay, you can carry... Carry this. There's no space left for that item. Okay. Alright, so he can't carry anymore. Yep, he can't carry anymore. So we're just gonna... See if there's anything valuable here. I think we got all the expensive stuff. And we should be go for should be good to go for the rest of the game. Really, it's just needed for those operations we can uh, we can get. Let's check these bodies here. Oh, yeah, flamer fuel. That was really heavy. Uh, yeah. 
actually. We got... We got better criticals um, on level 9. 20% bonus on critical hit damage. And before that, we raised our uh, we raised our luck from 9 to 10 through an NPC. Which gives us another point of critical hit chance. So basically, we're a crit machine now. We do almost 100 points of damage with, uh, with our new weapon here. The 223. So we're pretty much good to go. Though I believe... I guess I don't want to spoil it, but there's actually another perk way later on. That we may not get. Um, because it's actually pretty high level. I think it's twenty something, but I don't quite—I don't want to spoil it as to what it is. But I remember to just mention it if I uh, ever get close to finishing this game tonight. I hope to get the uh, power armor from the Brotherhood. Hope so. But now we got to go back to the hub and sell all this great loot. This is a really good run. We got all this loot. And plus we ran across that. What the hell happened here? We, um, <laughs> we, we just got here, man. You know what happened here. You see a dead loser. Let's go here. You feel very nauseous. Uh-oh. Okay. We are... heavily radiated right now. So, we'll use this. That. Got rid of our radiation, so it should be good. Thankfully, the dog meat and Ian, they can't get radiated out here. So we don't have to worry about giving them rad X or rad away. I just pretend they have their own, I guess. Well, not dog meat. It doesn't make sense. You can always pretend you gave dog meat like a little dose and that's enough for him to uh, be protected or something like that. What? I feel very nauseous. How am I nauseous? I'm not seeing anything here. It's because I'm carrying too much. I thought it said something there, but. Another random encounter. Hope it's uh, like raiders or something so I can test out my weapon some more. Okay. Let's aim for the head. Okay, that wasn't a crit, but I did 22 hit points of damage. Though aiming for the eyes... I should just aim for the eyes. I believe aim for the eyes gives you a higher chance for crit... For, criti for critical hitting. That was... A regular... Regular attack. There we go. That was a crit for sure. And that did 52 hit points of damage. 50 po 52 points of damage. I keep, I keep saying hit points. We don't have any room for the spears, but that's not a big deal. Put that away. Grab these uh, auto caps. I like to just be as rich as possible in these games. I don't know why. I just like accumulating just a lot of money. I think so too. I had his whole torso blown out. You see a peasant hurting several Brahmin. Hello? Um, hello? 
Okay, bye. Do you have anything to steal? Nope, he has nothing. This is a weird encounter. Earlier we ran across um, Talking Brahmin. Which is really interesting. Okay, let's rest until morning, plus an hour. Now we can sell all that stuff. If I were playing, if I were just playing this game on my own, I get kind of, I kind of loot every little thing and sell as much as possible. I don't want to do too many runs to the glow. Okay, sell this. Not this, but all. And she has, sometimes she has more mm, bottle caps. They usually carry around a thousand. Okay, sell that. Sell this, I don't need that. Sell that. Sell all that. Okay. So I just sell one of these. I'm trying to squeeze out as much as I can from Beth here. Okay, that's a, that's a. It's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, whatever. Just do this. Let's see if I can get something else that I might want. One of these. That's too expensive, I guess. It's good to know I can buy some 223 ammo from her if I run low. Is there anything else I can maybe use? No. Okay, here, you can have this. Leave. This may take a while, too. But we're getting rewarded for our little run into the glow. I got a motion sensor, and um, I think I'll sell those last, I guess. I don't know. Geiger counter, Geiger counter. Okay, I have two Geiger counters, so I don't, need, I don't need these. I got the motion sensor and a Geiger counter. Geiger, motion. Make sure I don't sell all of this. Take all this. Got another 1,200. I have something to sell. Stealth boy there. Have that. And while we're at it, I'm gonna... Since we're selling that, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some, buy all this. I could probably um, buy those books with with um, with this, but whatever. Buy those um, skill books. Okay, she can have this and these. Wish there was a faster way to scroll through, but 1997 game here. No big deal. I have all this too. I think at this rate we're going to have like 50,000 plus bottle caps on our person. Uh, take that. Oh, there's Assault Rifle and Hunter. I keep confusing the two. Um, yeah, I don't want to overshoot that, so... There you go. I think 
Books. We're getting really loaded with bottle caps now. I wonder how the character can hold all that all that all those bottle caps. She had no problem um, paying for those operations back at the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel bunker. I don't know where she's getting all these bottle caps from, but I'm not complaining. I did see a mod that can quickly, you can uh, take all mod when you're in inventory, when you're looting stuff. Probably should have I should probably should have looked for that before playing this. Okay. That one's a thousand. Okay, she doesn't refresh her supplies of 223 ammo, so... Oh, I have more stuff to sell. Eight hundred. I'm probably gonna put that stealth boy away. I don't think we'll ever. I don't think we're gonna need it. Eight hundred. Yeah, that's a good trade. Thanks. How much do we have now? Twenty-five thousand bottle caps. The um. The agility operation, I believe, costs 6,000. Okay, yeah, I got a stealth boy right there. Put that there. Carrying a bit too much um, ammo, I guess. So, I think, um, I think 200's fine. I'm going to put those cards away, those key cards. We may not go back to the glow anymore, but if by some chance I need uh, more money, I can always just go back there and loot some of the rest of the stuff. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the put away those uh, first aid kits too. Put that there. How much is the right of way? Cost. Oh, it's okay, you can carry as much as you want. Huh. Okay, let's save here. And let's um I suppose I'll take all this. You steal a sniper rifle. All that. That that that, 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 that. Can I carry this? Nope. Thank you, Ian B, for being my pack mule. Hello, Beth. I'm here to rip you off. I actually see, I think she's getting a good deal out of this because she can sell those at a higher price. Like lore, lore wise, story wise. Okay, I'll take all these bottle caps. You can have this. No, oh, this. There you go. Never gonna use those weapons since I'm a gunslinger, so. Okay. Um, actually, never mind. I was I was debating going on to going to the other guy's general store. See if I can get other items I might want, but I don't think it's a big deal. I could probably. Uh, actually, never mind. I keep trying to figure out the best way to. Like if there's any other items I need, I could probably just buy a whole bunch and give them a bunch of weapons in a turn. I don't think it's a big deal. Oh, 
Okay, time for uh, a break. I'm gonna go to the librarian. Now, I can remember where she is. I think she's over there. That's the Maltese Falcon. And there's the general store. I'm gonna go in there now. Hello, sir. I'd like to buy something. Oh, he's got more caps. I'll go ahead and take all that. You can have that and that. These. Okay. There you go. It's a good trade. Equal. Let's go find. I think the librarian is in this town. In here? There she is. Now I'll laugh if she accepts weapons in exchange for books. Because these books are pretty darn expensive. That's 4,000. The hub bucks. That's 1,300. I'm going to go ahead and. Do you accept weapons? Two of these. I'll take. I'll give you two of those for this. How about. That, 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 and uh, that. Oh, God. Okay, here you go. That'll probably save me some money. So we got science at 52 now. Go ahead and do this. 2 60 nice save again I think science is kind of nice to have you nope. nope 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 I don't think her supply or oh, her supply of books actually regenerates huh so you can get outdoorsman first aid repair and science 90% if you want to that's pretty cool. All right, Ian, give me um, give me the weapons, please. Give me the minigun, the shotgun, that, that. I think we got enough bottle caps. We're good on bottle caps. If worse comes to worse, there's probably enemies later on. We can loot them if we somehow need more money. Okay, here we go. Hello there. You can have that and that or one science book. Imagine she'll sell the um, those weapons I gave her. Use that. I gave a sixty-four percent, and give you that. Give you that. 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 One of these and one of these. Oh, give me that. Um, yeah, science again, please. So I want to use science on those computers in Vault 13. And oh, I actually remember. I'm not going to spoil it, but I remember something that's used for science later on. When we get to that point, I'll, I'll mention it. Did I get everything from Ian? Which 
took more time. Nope. Oh. I guess this time I'll go for... Uh, I actually don't know if we need repair anymore. I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, points from that. Okay, uh, what's her name? I forgot her name, but... It's 1300, that's not bad. Don't sell the 223. Two there. Come on. Okay. Take another one of those. Now this. And these. That. Go. Okay, now we got 51% repair, 67% science. I think that's all we can sell. Boom, boom. I'll go back to, uh, to Beth real quick. And then we're done with uh, we're done with um, selling stuff for now. Have all that. E. All your bottle caps. You probably don't need this actually. There we go. Now we got thirty-one thousand something bottle caps. Almost 32, really close to 32. So let's store some stuff back at our hideaway. This here. That. Okay, we're done. We're done here. Let's go make a backup save. Why not? I haven't done that in a while. And let's uh let's cut Ian loose. Oh, you can leave now. Well since you ask, alright, see you around. Well, I guess he stays here, so if we need a bit more stuff, we can come back to him. Let's go back to the Brotherhood of Steel, then we can continue our mission. This game's really fun. Fall 2 is um, you might remember, practically the same game, just bigger. And I think longer, too. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Okay, back to the Brotherhood of Steel to do our operations. Try to uh, avoid the mountains. Random encounter. I think we got all the important random encounters too. You know, stumbled on a large gathering of mole rats. Well, let's take them out. Yep, 40, hit, 40 uh, points of damage there. I saw it do like almost 100 points um, earlier out that mole right that was a nice crit 77 hit uh, points of damage i think we might actually be ready for those death claws in um boneyard no oh, that was a miss there we go we're not quite close to level 10 but that's okay Let's get out of here. But I think we hit all the uh, important random encounters. More more rats. Okay. It's okay. Oh, that didn't kill him. That did, though. 
Should probably help out um, Ogmeat. He's completely surrounded. But he can take out these... Um... Oh, these are greater mole rats. That's... Didn't kill him. But Dogme can take care of them just fine. Another miss. You just took on took one out right now. But sixty eight points of damage right there. And move. I don't want to risk hitting dog meat. I almost killed him last time in the glow with the my SMG. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's reload. Uh, never mind. What am I thinking? I thought I had single aim shot selected. Apparently not. Wow, he did a good good chunk of damage damage right there. We're doing pretty well isn't it, right now. A decent amount of uh, experience points for killing those mole rats. And here we are. Let's go to, I believe it's on level three. The only downside with doing these operations is that time passes in game and no, it's not level three, it's probably level four or probably level two. I'll check level two first. Like one of the operations took like three weeks in game weeks. Probably not something you want to do um, while looking for the water chip. Let's talk to Lori and save our game. Tell me about operations again. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna do something. Okay, I'm not, I don't have radiation, I was just checking. So let's do agility. This isn't that tough an operation, but it is very costly and time consuming. It would take three weeks and cost 5,000 scripts. I'll do it. All right, let's give it a spin. The chems are so friendly, your slumber comes quickly. Okay, you're ready for duty. Flex your muscles and can feel the increased speed of control. All I ask of you is to please not damage my masterpiece. Huh? Okay, now we got 10 agility, which has given us an extra action point. So now we can, we can do two, we can attack twice with our, with our pistol now without, without aim shot. So let's now do reception. Now that's a difficult operation. It costs 4,000 scripts, but the recovery from this operation is only a week. I'll do it. Out with the old and in with the new. You drop like a rock into an abyss. You look exactly the same, but how do you feel? All your senses feel much sharper. While well, you're taking up valuable bed space, get going. Okay. It's really eating through our caps, but whatever. Now we got 10 perception. 20 sequence now. So let's talk to her again and do endurance. This one's not that difficult. It takes about a week and will cost 3,000 scripts. I'll do it. I hope you have a heart. She winks at you as you fall under. Well, you look a little bulkier. You feel great. Well, let me know if there are any problems. And that's it. That is it. We, uh, that's as high as our stats can go. Those were all the um, stat boosts in the game, if I remember correctly. We start with four, nine, four, three, nine, nine, nine. We have five, ten, five, four, ten, ten, ten. Five strength, ten perception, five endurance, four charisma, ten intelligence, ten agility, and ten luck. I think it's safe. We're ready to go for the rest of the game. Now to. Um, probably do stuff for the Brotherhood.
Just had to grab a drink real quick. But yeah. Let's uh, take a look. It's better seen here. 10, 10, 10, 10. Jesus. But yeah, we're ready to go. Let's... Um, much gotta go north, I guess. But first, let's go talk to... Let's go to the armory. I don't remember how to get uh, power armor in this game. Let's check our status, our missions. I'm an initiate. Missing caravans. Hello, boneyard. Basically, we gotta go north uh, from here. Is what Maxon and the elder the elder said. Go and save. What day is it though? We're we're in October now. It's like a few months to max out your stats like that. You don't even need to do it. It's just something for fun. The fifty billion cap man. <laughs> More like what? Ten, the ten thousand cap man. We can build them. We have the technology, but I don't want to waste any more money. Hello again, Initiate Ruben. What can I help you with? Um, hmm. Vri told me I could see a new weapon. Yes, latest in handheld laser technology. He takes a small pistol from work table and hands it to you. This is nice. Can I keep this? That one won't do you much good. It's still lacking the lenses and amplifier. He takes the pistol back from you and puts it on the work table. If you really want one, go talk to Talus or Michael. Thanks. Where can I find them? They are both on the first floor of the base. Talus is usually in the training room, and Michael does his duty just outside of the storage room. Okay. Does this knight say anything? Power armor parts. Ah, so you're the one, huh? What? Nothing. It's just that no one has ever made it back from the Ancient Order. Yeah, I saw one of your dead guys on the first floor. Um, what do you do here? What? What? Then why did they send me down there? <laughs> I guess they just wanted to get rid of you, huh? Well, the joke's on them. Yeah, I missed it when I first played this, but the fact that they sent some stranger there in the hopes of them joining the Brotherhood just to, you know, when they're likely going to die when they reach the glow. Kind of a, not a cool move on the Brotherhood's part. Yeah, I say, what do you do here? I fix stuff, run maintenance checks, that sort of crap. What kind of stuff? Power armor and anything else that needs fixing. How can I get my hands some power armor? That's what I'm interested in. I'll give you this power I'll give you this power armor right here. This missing systolic motivator. It's useless without it. Where could someone get one of those? Well, they got more than enough up in the supply room, but Michael and his damn form say that this particular suit isn't up to specs, damn bureaucrats. What do you mean not up to specs? You see this eyepiece right here? I had to resolder it in place, and it don't look as pretty as it needs to for inspection, I guess. Hmm. So, if I brought you a systolic motivator, would you fix it for me? Whoa, wait a minute there, fellow. That would take a good couple hours. I'd loan you a manual and my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Well, besides Michael, where else could I get one? Huh, well, Rhombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the honored are supposed to wear these here power suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. Okay, thanks a lot. So, hmm. Actually, let's see what this uh, does when I click on it. You cannot use this until it is repaired. Okay. Let's go talk to Talus, or Michael, I guess. The elevator doesn't shut close, I suppose. Uh, okay, this is the first floor. There's Rhombus. 
Brotherhood guard, brotherhood guard, no one in there. Can I go in here? Just in case, I'm gonna save before looking in those lockers. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. It's Thomas. Those are probably just students there. So oh, there he is. Nice little gym here. Hello, you must be the outsider initiate. Nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Um, how do you get better weapons and equipment? In a hurry, are we? As an initiate, you are entitled to a few things. I'll put in a clearance for combat armor and three orders for ammunition. Bullets are your choice. Just see Michael in the next room for the supplies. Thanks. What about some high-tech weapons? Hmm, I don't know. You may have proven yourself to be an initiate, but that doesn't mean we start handing over weapons to someone that might not be qualified, especially an outsider. No offense. Great. What do I have to do now? Climb the highest mountain? That sounds great. Why don't you start now? Ugh. They sent me to the most dangerous dangerous area hoping I'd die. They won't even get me uh, a set of power armor. No scribes and paladins are allowed in this room. Senior scribe, senior, senior. You think they go ahead and just set me up as a paladin after going to the most dangerous uh, area there, but that's okay. Now where's Michael, I guess? Let's, I guess, talk to Rhombus again. He's gonna be, he got mad last time I got into this room, but whatever, I don't care. I could probably take him now. Who is there? So, you are a thief. I will show you what we do with thieves. What? No, wait, I can explain. He just kicks us out. I guess he doesn't like it if you enter again, that he does that. Do I have a... Stealth Boy, though? I put away the Stealth Boy. And my um, sneak isn't high enough to look into his locker. I guess there's power armor in there. Hmm. Isn't there supposed to be a Michael here? Let's talk to Thomas. Okay. See a bench press exercise machine. I can't talk to him. Well, let's go to level four, I guess. Hello, goodbye. Okay, that's just the computer console there. And those elders. Well, while I'm here, I'm gonna talk to Maxon Maxis Maxon Maxon again. We're playing a little longer tonight. Probably another hour, because I feel what like the it. Hell do you want now? Man. I need to talk to you about the disappearance of the caravans. Do you have any insight on the matter? When we heard about the missing caravans, we sent out a few scouts east and north. The ones that went north never returned. One came back from the east. He talked about a score of strange beings, all muscle with burning eyes. The elders aren't doing squat, but I'm getting ready just the same. Okay. This Can again. you understand the problem? To survive, good. Anything else you need to do? I suggest you talk. The, uh... I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Maxon's assistant. Okay, glad to meet you, bye. Okay, just gotta go north. One more round to the, um... To where Michael is. Because I think we can get some better combat armor right now.
What's there? That's not Michael, that's Paul. Um, where's Michael? Shoot. Hello again, Initiate Ruben. Do you have any power armor parts? No, I only work on energy weapons. You should go see Kyle if you have questions about power armor. Actually, Kyle doesn't have the parts. That's why I'm looking for them. Well, I can't help you with that. Sorry. Of course you can't. Um. Okay. Let's talk to him again. Hey, did you got anything? No, I told him you sent me. He wouldn't give me the part. No shit. Here I, th here I thought you was smart. I told you that guy had official forms for brains. Okay, whatever. I was just trying to talk it out of Michael. Well, well uh, I gotta give you credit for that, but I think you blew your chances from, with getting it from the supply room. You just have to find another way to get it. Or find yourself power armor somewhere else. Or else gonna dig one up. <laughs> well, Grombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the honor is okay, he says that. Uh, I'm a little confused. I even... Uh, talked him up there? I guess I'll go back up there and just talk to everybody. I think this is one of those situations where their name doesn't show up when you highlight them. Like with, uh, this guy here. It just says a knight. Back to one. And then we can, uh, go find some action. I bet it's one of these guys here. There he is. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention. Hello, brother. How can I help you? Um, I begin an authorization to check something out. Could you check the terminal to see if it went through? Okay, let me see here. Ah, yes. You do have authorization to check something out. A good defense is the best offense. Or was it the other way around? Well, it doesn't matter. Here's your armor. Be sure to take care of it. I can't give out more than one set. Was there anything else? Was there any other... Was there another item you needed? Yes, I have something else to pick up. Oh, something else? Sorry, I must have missed it. Let me see. Oh, yes, you do have authorization. Okay, you need some ammunition, do you? Well, what kind do you need? Did you need? He give you 10 millimeter hollow points, armor piercing, or four magnum rounds, 14 millimeter. Well, we're going to take the 223 then. Okay, I've got some of that. You never can have enough for ammo, right? Well, there you are. Anything else? Yes. Ah, I do. Yep, okay, um, 223 again. 23 again. No, oh, that's it, thanks. Really? That's it? Um... Look at this. Could you ever possibly help me? I don't think so. Get out of my way. I'm looking for a systolic motivator. You have the proper authorization. Um, hmm. Kyle sent me up to get the part. Kyle, is that a, is this about the old junked power armor? Yes. You can tell him that when he gets that unit back to its original glory, then, and only then, will he get the authorization he needs. Goodbye. Let's talk to him again. Oh my god. Can I uh, reload? I wonder if there's a way to talk talk him out of it somehow. Let's try this. Do you have it on you? Nope. Okay, I'm reloading. Let's go back. Talk to... Get all that stuff again. Give me the ammo. The ammo. Okay, now let's... Now he gave us armor. Now we got Brotherhood armor. The superior version of combat armor. The Brotherhood of Steel have made many improvements over the standard version. So... Okay, this gives us... So the normal one gives us 30. Okay. That gives you... Better resistance to normal weapons. An extra 10% on laser. An extra 20% on fire. And 10% on plasma and better damage resistance for these, I guess. So no reason to ever use this combat armor. So let's save again. Talk to him again. 
Um, yes. Let me look here. Well, I don't see a request for a systolic motivator. You'll need to get the proper authorization. Come on, please. I really need this part. You know that's not going to work. There you go. This will, this will likely work because this is a very long dialogue. You don't? Ornish was supposed to send one down yesterday. Look, can you help me out? If I don't get this part, it's going to be my ass. I'm sure the form will be here later today. You know that's going to work. Come on. Okay, here you go. Yes. Worked. Just don't tell anyone that I gave this to you. Rhombus would have my head if he knew I had given the parts out without proper authorization. Thanks, bye. You will never see me again. I think we might get power, power armor soon. So let's go back to... Um, was it three? Perfect. Let's go back to, um, I believe his name was, I believe his name was Paul. Not Paul, but. Okay, that's Paul, not him. This guy right here. Oh, I guess. Not really good with names. Hello, were you able to get that part? Yes, here it is. Great, here, let me just install this into the unit. Okay, you're all set to go. Here, take this manual. If you have any kind of aptitude with repairing things, you should have no problem. Good luck. Okay, so if we repair this, we get our we get some power armor. So let's, uh, let's repair it with the uh, tools. That does nothing. We cannot use this. No okay, we have to read the thing, I guess. All right, hold up. Used. We got 55% repair. You cannot use this until it is repaired. Ugh. All right, how about this? Nice. Very nice. You repair the armor. You gain 500 experience points for repairing the power armor. You see powered armor. Well, I'm picking that up. And, well, okay, I'm carrying too much stuff. So I'll do this. I'll um, drop that now. And grab this. I pick up that item. Your maximum weight capacity. Uh. All right, I'm carrying another, 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 another of that. There we go. Out of curiosity, I wonder how much that weighs. 85 pounds. No wonder I couldn't pick that up. A self-contained suit of advanced technology armor, technology armor, powered by a microfusion reactor with enough fuel to last a hundred years. So let's equip that. Boom! Look at that. We're wearing our first set of power armor. Now that actually sets our strength to uh, well, gives us extra plus three to strength, which is just a blah, which gives us eight. I'm having a hard time talking tonight. So now we can carry 225 pounds worth of stuff, but this thing itself is heavy. We should be able to pick this up now. I'm going to sell the combat armor, but keep the Brotherhood one just because I feel like it. But yeah. We made some good progress tonight. Nice, very nice. When I first played this... Um, back when I got it, I don't think I... For some reason, I didn't want to use the power armor because I thought it looked kind of bulky. So I just wore combat armor, but... This is Fallout, and... The armor is on the cover art, so... We're wearing it. There we go. Alright, come on, dog meat. I'm gonna go back to the hub real quick on that normal combat armor, store the uh, Brotherhood one. I'm actually kind of surprised it only required 55% repair to um, give us this. Let's get out of here. I think it's good to mention if anyone has played Fallout 4, in that game you had to 
I use the, the fusion packs, I believe it was called, the microfusion pack that his armor says it used. Microfusion reactor. Because lore-wise, the fuel lasts 100 years, but you had to keep replacing in Fallout 4. That was one of the main things uh, a lot of people were bringing up about Fallout 4. The lore isn't exactly... It's not, cons it's not consistent. But... It's Bethesda, they can do what they want, I guess. We're gonna go back to the hub now. But get into a random encounter. Man, I feel so protected with this thing on. Turn. So this armor will look a lot cooler if I was using a big energy weapon. Turn. Oh, get him, dog meat. A nice crit. 59, 59 points of damage right there. Turn. And he's probably gonna die. Yep. Perfect. I kind of feel like a much more bulkier Robocop wearing this and using a pistol. But let's go back to the hub. Looks like I won't finish tonight. Bye next week. Downtown. I wonder if I can get to the heights. I gotta look that up. Make sure I don't miss anything. Well, let's go talk to Beth, because I believe she'll like that uh, combat, combat armor I'll give her. Go there. Well, hmm. Okay. And Ian's still here. Which is good to know, because I can probably use him as a pack mole if I want to. If I want to. Put that there. Oh, there's no no space left. Hmm. Okay, put this here. There we go. How much am I carrying? 155. Um. Push this way. 20. Okay. So we can still carry quite a bit once we sell that. But first, let's rest for morning. Until morning. Rest for an hour. Hello, Beth. Um, we still got a lot of bottle caps. But we'll go ahead and sell this. Oh wow, she got a lot of a lot now. Shoot, It'd be nice if she had that before. But I don't think we need any more ball caps anyway. Actually, I think I'm gonna buy some books instead. So I'm gonna go to the librarian up here. And there she is. I will give you some combat armor in exchange for some books. Take one science book and I'll take... Uh, how much is this? You know, I'll take that, I guess. Um, go. Thanks, uh, thanks you. Thanks you. Use a science book. Use the outdoorsman book. 
Now we got 35% outdoorsman and 70% science. I'm still wondering what else I can... Because these are getting kind of high. I just wonder if there's a cap on lockpick and speech. Hmm. Well, we won't worry about that now. Save. And now we can... Make a save here too. And now I'm going to go... Search north of the Brotherhood of Steel bunker. Now we can finally do some missions. I, I think we're ready to go now. I mean, we got maxed out stats. Four maxed out stats. We got power armor. We got the best small guns pistol in the game. Lots of ammo. All that's left is to level up. The Death Claw. Our first Death Claw. 225 hit points. Well, okay. Here, take this. We just did 112 points of damage, so I think we're ready for Death Claws. Let's move out of the way, though. Oh, good, he missed. I think, um... Uh, Thank the Brotherhood for power armor. No damage. Five, five hit points of damage, okay. Nice. Well, I guess we have no reason to be afraid of Death Claws anymore. You're victorious in combat. You earn 1,000 experience points. Holy moly. Hmm. Well. I actually wonder if you can... Um, run across that death claw if you're at that level but poorly equipped. I think, uh, I think that would suck. Okay, scout north is what Maxon said. Go around these mountains. Some rad scorpions. I actually wonder, I don't think they have a fatality animation when you, when you shoot them. When you do a super crit on them. I don't think so, because we did like 72 points of damage on that one. Oh, I missed. Good boy. This way. I think that's closer. Go around the mountains. I may have to go through them, actually. Oh, no. Yep. Guess so. Oh, there's, um... Patrick again. I don't know if, uh... If anyone who just came in... Earlier, he was the one who gave us a plus one to charisma from listening to, to a Celtic song he was singing. Hmm... I'm going to check um, those tiles up north there. Let's see what just this does. Can I, I can attack twice now, just with regular attacks. Would be faster. Yep, it's faster. Let's check up here. They said uh, scout north, so maybe north up here. That might be a safer bet. Let's go up here. 
I was kind of far. As Maxon said, the scouting party never came back. A patrol unit, a patrol unit of super mutants is passing close by. That's a good sign. Actually, who, what are they carrying? Spike knuckles, and there's that floater. It's called a floater. Okay, they don't have any um, energy weapons, I don't think, so. That was not a crit, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, my dog! This is usually the point in the storyline. As you're fighting super mutants, dog meat, he, he's going to die because there's just no way to, um, to save him, I guess. I'm tempted to reload because I want him to last a little bit longer. And honestly, I might do that. I'm going to reload. Screw that. Because I want him to last just a little bit longer. So if it happens again, I'm not gonna, not gonna reload. I probably should have saved close to the exit too, so I don't have to run all the way up here. All right, back north. Run across a ragged peasant, help me. He says, hello stranger, you shouldn't be out here. There's only death out here. What kind of death? Big, big, the size of three men. Claws as long as my forearm. Ripped apart, ripped apart. Man, that sounds like one ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> Did you kill it? Um, calm down, man. You're safe now. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe anymore, and what am I going to do? I see Trent. Oh, well, is it around here somewhere, though? Guess not. Okay, let's go... I guess they mean they meant not directly north, so So we'll do this. Running across those super mutant patrols was probably a good sign. Cause that means that their um their area of operations is close. You managed to avoid a serious case of dehydration by searching for water. The search takes an additional hour. All right, let's go up here. Another random encounter. Uh-oh. Yeah, this might be it. I think I'm just gonna say goodbye to dog meat. Oh, pain, what have you done? Yeah, rest in peace, dog meat. This is the part where he just... I read that... If you help him stay alive for longer, he's just gonna die anyway at a certain point. I'll bring that up when we get to it. Go ahead and... Um, take out the guys with the uh, miniguns. That was a good shoot. That did no damage to me. How much damage did that do? That was, okay, 70.
He's out of ammo. Huh? Here, take this. Really? Missed. I crush skulls in my fingers. Well, not anymore. Well, dog, dog meat's gone, guys. See, there remains a dog meat. Just gonna take a moment here, I guess. He's got spike knuckles. Minigun. There's probably just no reason to worry about bottle caps anymore. I guess. I'm just gonna, because that's too much to carry. So we're just gonna... There you go. We're on our own now. There we go. Um, mutant guards can be seen to the northeast in front of a fortified location built into the side of a, of the mountain. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. You had best be surrendering. Surrendering. I'm a special mutant. I'm a special mutant on a mission for your master. Let me pass or face the consequences. If you lie, me kill you. Okay. Um. Let me pass. See the lieutenant. Nightkin sergeant. Sentry. Nightkin sentry. You stop me. Take you to lieutenant. Come peace for a die. Um. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, on second thought, I might just, um... Hmm. I guess there's, uh... No mission up here? So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna restart. Restart, but... I'm gonna do something else. I'm just gonna go to... The, uh... I'm gonna do bon Boneyard stuff now. We'll go ahead and do that. Check the mission. Looks like I fixed the farms there. Flow's fine. I'll check for next week. Alright. Too much, uh... Because I don't want to miss anything if I go too far in and finish the game by accident or something like that. Which can happen, apparently. I could finish in the next 50 minutes if I wanted to, but I still want to do some quests and missions around the area. And also, we're only level 9. So... Put it here. There's the Boneyard, and that's um, the Cathedral over there. Let's go here. Yard, fix the hydroponic farms and add it to him. Guess we can try to do that. So dog meat's uh So dog meat can uh, hang out with us a little bit longer. Looks like we're going to be short food again. And here we go, I think we can um Oh we gotta find the parts. Who should I who did who did you say I should ask about them? It's a male. You'll usually find him in a tent. Or over here. Okay, I remember now. Hello there. What was your job again? Scav. Um. Is. That's, uh, he doesn't say anything about. There we go. Um, we, we only work at night when we're good at what we do. 
But I'll admit not everyone always comes back. I sent a guy out last week to look for some parts for Miles, and we haven't heard from him since. The last transmission I got from him was that he found the parts and was on his way back. Well, he's likely dead, so let's go to where those death claws are. On the first part of Fallout, first stream was you were there, and I immediately ran away because I knew I was not ready for that area. They saw I housed a 10mm pistol or the SMG, and I was like level 4 or something like that. But we should be more than ready now. We took out that death claw on that random encounter. And here we are. Let's make a save. There's a death claw right there. Gonna risk anything, so. Because they got a lot of hit points. Wow, he really traversed some distance to hit us right there. Okay, move back. They don't do too much damage. That's good. Thanks to the power armor. Wow, he's got yeah, 225 25 hit points. That's pretty crazy. No, we really we can really tank these guys. That's good. These are like the ultimate fallout enemies. How many points was that? 36? It's a great spot to uh, get some experience points. Probably be level 10 before the nights the, before the stream is over. Come attack me. Even this beast seems phased by that stunning attack. No damage, no damage. 23 hit points. He did like 10 points right there, but he should be dead, hopefully now. Nope. Oh boy, that's just um, not looking good, actually. Because now that other one's coming af coming after us. You're critically hit for no damage. The bruise would look nice, and maybe the scars will make good party talk. Um, that's not how it works, but okay. I'm not getting any um, ow. I should probably heal, just in case. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. Got a crit, finally. There we go. Big crit. Just got one more. Got to take care of this one. I'm glad these guys, they give off a lot of experience points. I'll just stand still, I guess. See how many times he attacks. One, two, three. Move. Backwards, I guess. Dog meat doesn't does some damage. You got a crit right there. Move back. It's kind of a slow fight. I guess it all depends on how many crits you get on. Ooh, nice one. 
did 75 hit 75 points of damage. I keep saying hit points of damage. There we go. Let's go ahead and save. I'll go ahead and heal too. Booze and 12 gauge shotgun shells. Shells. Go ahead and take those. Why not? Nothing in the bookshelf. Okay, there's stairs here. Let's check downstairs. Buy a whole nest or something down there. Yep, oh, yep. Um. I'll come back here later because now I can mention that I think this area is where you can farm death claws if you want to. I think they respawn, so if you wanted to get an extra level or two, or even go to like level 21, you can do that. I don't know if there's a level cap in this game or experience cap. Let's go past. We'll take out those death claw eggs later. You see a warehouse to the north with a moat of glowing goo, goo around it. That does not seem safe at all. So this here, you see a dead body. It looks, as if, it looks as if this person died very painfully. Okay, this is where the gun runners are. I see a guard. Let's talk to him. What is your business here? You smell like a Brahma, but I bet you're not as intelligent. Well, I need to speak to your boss. It is very important. Oh, oh okay. Gabriel will talk to you. Go on in. Thank you. Here are the gun runners. They uh, show up again in Fallout 4, if I remember correctly. Hello there, um, gun runner, gun runner. Typical ones here. See a large, well armed man. Let's go ahead and save again. Let's talk to him. Hi, I'm Zach. You want to buy weapons? Let me see what you have to trade. Can you give me a discount? Yeah, until Gabriel says so, you gotta pay full, full price for like everybody else. Well, show me what you have anyway. He's got rockets, 10 millimeter. A lot of 223, that's good. Remember that if I need it. Cattle prod, power fist, combat shotgun. And a lot, ooh, there we go. I probably should have waited, um, to come here to sell all that, all those weapons, but I'll remember that for next time. It's not like we need, I don't think we need bottle caps anymore. It's not that often we get visitors, how can I help you? Why don't you get many visitors? This place isn't very accessible with the nest of those damn death claws right outside our factory. You guys seem fairly well armed, why don't you go exterminate them? We've gone over there and taken out a few, but they see, they always seem to come back. Besides, we're machinists, not fighters. What would you give me if I went in there and took care of them for you? If you get rid of the death claws once and for all, you can name your price. I have some friends who could really use some of your weapons. You clear out the death claws, all of them, and you got yourself a deal. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, do you have... Okay, so you gotta kill the um, mother and the... Uh, some guy fell in the moat once. What a horrible way to go. Well, it's probably not a good idea to set up shop here. I mean... It doesn't look very safe, but... Let's... Uh, we still gotta find Miles and find those parts. Is it Gunrunner? Let's look around first. I think there's only one way into uh, the Gunrunner's warehouse here.
Yep, there is. Only one way. All right, let's save. Go up here. Is there anything up here at all? Anything at all? Off. Oh, that's a... Uh, this dead body's wearing a vault suit, it looks like. I don't think there's um, anything else here. Let's get out of here before I uh, grow a third arm, I guess. I guess there's a way to... I don't know. It feels like you can farm here, but... I don't think I want to do that. I'm just going to... No reason to do that, I suppose. So I'll just finish this off. Wow, she really saw us in this darkness here. Okay, so it's 57%, but I'm gonna aim anyway. Unfortunately, that was not a crit. That was, that was 92 hit points. She's got 320 hit points, so this is going to be, uh, hopefully she doesn't hit harder than the uh, other death, uh, death claws. Oh, no, she's, uh, about the same. Dog meat doesn't, can't do much damage to her, or any of them, really. Go for the eyes, dude. I'm just going to have to hopefully get some crits and tank this really tough death claw. I should probably, uh, I'll heal just in case so I don't, don't want to risk anything. Reload. Walk away a little bit. That's not going to help much, though. Okay, out of curiosity, how much health do you have left? 162. Ooh, 100 points of damage. Next one might, uh, might be it. There we go. 104. She doesn't carry anything, of course. But now we got these eggs here. You could talk to the egg, yeah, right. Um, so we're gonna do this. And that's it for the death claws. We're close to level 10 too. That's good. But we won't get a perk to level 12. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I think if we take care if we can take care of that death claw, we're pretty much ready to go for the rest of the game.
Let's talk to this guy again. To Gabriel, please. Go ahead and save. You what? You've killed them all? Thank the gods. Now we can move to where we can get our own materials and not have to rely on those snakes and Adatim. You name it, and you've got it, my friend. Well, you can give those weapons to those people I mentioned. You got it. Let your friends know that they got their weapons. Thank you. You've gone up a level. Okay. We are level 10. So, hmm. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna touch small guns anymore. 150 is enough. I just don't know what else to put it in, so I think I'm just gonna bank these. For now. I can always spend them later. But now with 10 intelligence, we get 20 skill points per level. If you chose the educated perk, though, you get an extra, I think, 2 points. Um, per level, but that's not really worth taking. Taking. Otherwise, we won't be able to use better criticals right now. Let's go back to um the the blade the blades I believe they're called, and tell them that they're ready to go. Because the mission we're doing right now, we got a week ago, and we got a um, one of the um. Hey, the mayor's son got killed. It was from the regulators. The regulators did it, but the mayor thought it was the Blades who did it. And the Blades was seeing um, the mayor's son, like, uh, romantically. So she's kind of pissed off. So we got the uh, proof. We got They're going to get weapons, and we can make everything right and hopefully go up like five levels or something like that. Hello. Save. Always want to save before talking to people. Thank you for all your help. We're going to evade Adatim. We could use someone like you on our side. Yeah, I bet. I got a powerful pistol. I got this power armor. Of course you want me on your side. I'd like to talk to Zimmerman first. I don't think that's a good idea, but you're welcome to try. Well, if she doesn't think that's a good idea, I'll just go ahead and... Help her out with the regulators. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can't. I really do feel like Robocop. They can't hurt me. I turn. Oh, one hit, one hit point of one hits of damage right there. One hit. This would be pretty fun. All it took was uh, three death claws to kill, including the mother. And killing the eggs, and we outfitted the blades. Let's go ahead and take out. I guess I always aim for the uh, guy who's heavily armored. I'm blind! Caleb was hit in the eyes for 17 hit points. Are these guys gonna attack or just let me do all the work? Maybe I'm probably blocking them. There we go. Oh. That reminds me of uh, Crusader No Remorse and Crusader No Regret death animations when you use energy weapons in that game. You better pray to the gods. Is it my turn yet? The out of towners are getting getting killed too.
should be it. There we go. I like it when they blow up like that. Let's go in further. I think the metal armor they're wearing, though, um... Metal armor resists lasers better, but they have no... They have no chance right now. This is a bit of a slow battle too. So many so many guys to take out. Come on. Okay. Shoot him. And he's dead. Let's move forward. I'm waiting for those guys to get some crits. Uh, that one did. We are under attack, yeah. You've been for a while. Um, where's my cursor at? There we go. Okay, shoot her in the eyes, as always. I'm gonna... kick up the combat speed a little bit. Imagine playing this on normal combat speed, it'd be pretty slow. I'm actually wondering if I should have talked to Zimmerman first. I'll uh, make a save after this and then try to see what happens if I talk to Zimmerman first and see what happens. See different uh, ways of completing this mission, this quest. So I think I'm missing out on um, stuff. It's just. There you go. Let's look around a little bit. Oh, he killed one person. I heard that. Even at fast, it's just kind of slow. Survey the battlefield here. Whoa, there's a lot of people there. One of the, um, oh no, that's Caleb. I thought that was uh, one of the blades who died. Okay, who else is. Um, I guess aim for him. Oh, well, he's dead. Move forward. Man, this is a long battle. I think this might be the longest in the game. He 
It's getting quicker though. Can I use this? I gotta be careful not to kill actual NPCs. I missed. Wait, can I? That's a. Who's this? That is a regular, I'm sure, so I'm gonna shoot him. In the eyes. There we go. Is that it? That was long. Okay, um... Take that. I'll talk to wherever he is. Hope he's in here. Down here? Good that the regulators are gone. Because that's the remains of John. That's the dead regulator, dead regulator, out of towner. There's a razor. Blades leader. Talk to her. Thank you for helping us with the regulators. Please feel free to stay as long as you want. You might want to check we might want to check with in with Miles and Smitty. They may be able to help you with fur with your further travels. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. After um helping or after that big out of town battle. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Right here and talk to Zimmerman first. There's no way I'm doing all that again. She says it's not a good idea, but we'll see. Okay, there's John. Have we done it? Is she dead? Is she dead? I've got something you need to hear. As he listens to the hollow disc, he begins to shake and turn red. You think he might drop dead on the spot from sheer hate. I'll kill all you fucking bastards. I guess it means we're done with you, old man. Wow, 250 hit points uh, gone from him. Well, that wasn't a good idea, so she was right. So let's go find John, who hopefully is not dead. Welcome to New Aditim. It would, um, really suck if he died. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's in a corner here somewhere. Is that him right there? He looks dead. The one with dark hair. Let's talk to Smitty. Good day, what can I do for you? Buy something? Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, they're not able to help me, so. I guess he died. Oh, I can't see him anywhere. Was that him right there? 
means of regulator. Let's go up here. Yeah, he's dead. He is dead. That is... Sucks. Well, I'm not doing that battle again, so he can just stay dead. Go ahead and take this, though. Do that. All that. Take all that. I'll have to see what you um what you get if he stays alive. I wonder if you get anything. We got some stuff to, uh, stuff to sell now. Capacity. Okay. But where is Miles? I don't, I don't know where Miles is. There he is. Hello there. Have you found the parts yet? Not yet. Ugh, come on. What is Death Claws? Sent a guy over last week to look for some parts from Miles. We haven't heard from him. I guess I missed the... I guess I missed the body. I'll go ahead and keep that save before talking to or talking to Razor just in case I need to keep John alive for the next stream because we can do that for the next stream we'll go back to the gun runners make some money a little bit Um, try to find guy, yeah, I guess. They sent a guy over, but where's the um, where is he? Hmm. Oh well. Hello there. Speak to Gable, please. Let's sell some of um some of our loot to this guy. Can you give me a discount? Sure. Great. Show me what you got. Okay, you got, how much would this cost on a discount? 3,500? All this. We likely don't need more any more bottle caps, but just in case. You have that, that, and that. Or, uh, I can... this okay go done talk to him again have this booze these shotgun shells and this I think that's that's all That, and I'll take uh, that. No, that's too much. 398. 20. Perfect. Not like we need caps, but it's nice to have. So let's try to find that guy. I gotta be really careful, too. I'm gonna. Hmm. 
Let me do this before I forget. For helping blades. Say that right there. That, and now I can save my main slot. What the heck? I was hoping I wouldn't get stuck there. Let's go find how much weight. 149. Carrying a lot of... I'm carrying a lot of ammo here. I gotta dump some off. Okay, they said they sent a guy. He must be down here. I must have missed him. It's really dark down here. I can't see anything. Trash. Just barrels. Yep, can't I uh, can't find him. Maybe somewhere in here. Corner. No. In here. Nope. Hmm. Just uh, I just don't know. Well, I'll have to look it up once I'm done. I'll be done in 10 minutes. So I'll just... Uh, might go ahead and end it. I'm going to go back to out of town. And just end it right there so I don't want to go too far ahead. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything with uh, John Zimmerman. Make sure he uh, make sure he needs to be alive to finish the quest and get some experience points, I guess. Yeah, but John's dead. So next time I come back, I'll have to if I need John, I'll have to rush for him to, uh, to get him. So I'm going to save here and go back to the um, actually I'll stay right here I'm gonna do this switch over to thingy there we go okay um getting a little bit tired but anyways uh, Felix WG Bunky Kung, Light High, Rain Bean, Patchwork, Juma Anjo, and Valhall Rat Gaming. Thanks uh, for the follow. I'll be back next uh, Saturday. I might also do Sunday. I'm not sure. But thanks for tuning in. And hopefully we'll finish this game next week. Have a good night. I'll see you all next time.